Oh, we're back working on a weekend. Beautiful shots here of Polk State College, main campus in Winter Haven, Florida, outside of Orlando. Satellite campuses in Lakeland, Bartow, Lake Wells. Beautiful facility down there. Polk State College. It's the Super Smash Brothers Championship. Shout out to the folks at Salo Student Activities and Leadership Office. Melvin Thompson, uh, the director down there. Over 20,000 students at Polk State College. It's time, baby. We've done Madden. We've done 2K. Uh, now we're doing Super Smash Brothers at Polk State College, main campus, Winter Haven, other satellite campuses, Lakeland, Bartow, and Lake Wales, Florida. All right, let's come inside here, folks. Uh, it is a good Saturday, October the 3rd, 2020, working on a weekend, and I, I got the broskies with me. We're talking Smash Bros. I got three bros here, or two other bros. Got Black Atlas. He is you. Sasha. Uh, we also got Ooch, Uchi Wale Wale, Uchi Bang Bang. What's up, bro? Yes, a lot of bang for your buck right now. You got two of the oh. best commentators in the game in Whoa. the FGC, and we're here to do. We're, we're here to give you guys what you're here for. The high level stakes are on the line, is what I've been told. So, whoa, you said two of the best in the FGC? What? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've been locking Sasha, him down you, for years. You gonna co-sign on that, Sasha? That's I mean, of course. Be you're raising the you. bar, man. You're raising the bar. It's up here. You'll see us in some like high quality matches and some big events like Combo Breaker, CEO, some of the world's best players out there. You see us on the mic, you know, shouting them out, shooting out the calls, you know. Dude, you sure you want to do this? You guys said two of the best. You set the bar so it's lower the expectations, guys. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> That's TV 101. I mean, you don't shoot for the stars where you're shooting, you know? That's right. It's morphing time all the time, even though we're playing Smash Brothers, but you know what it is. Y'all been on Instagram too much talking about taking your shot and shooting stuff, man. Chill out. Okay. (laughs) Family program here. You guys ready for some Smash Bros, guys? Absolutely. It is good to have you guys, man. I'm ready to go. Uh, Let's take a look at uh, some of the rules and uh, the bracket as we uh, move through here. Uh, for Smash Bros. Singles 1v1. Best of five game sets. Best three out of five, folks. Three out of five. Single elimination format. We have the quarterfinals here. The final eight had qualifiers last night. Shout out to the folks down at Polk State. Lots of those guys signed up. Uh, about 30 of them. Uh, so good shot there. Melvin Thompson doing a great job. Uh, if you're watching, Melvin, shout out to you, brother. We'll be in contact with you very soon here and hope you enjoy the program. You and the rest of the FGC community, and the folks at Polk State. Here's the bracket, final eight. Uh, and, guys, where, where's the first uh, game? We're going to start up with Supersonic, right? Yep, we're going to start up with Supersonic versus Joe Kidme. That's going to be the first game. And let's take a look at the prize pool. It's all about the money. You got to get that sh- money. Total prize pool, $400 guaranteed today. First place gets $200. Second place, uh, $100. And if you make it to the semifinals, you're guaranteed at least $50. Uh, shout out to the good folks. Also, uh, my, my partner uh, as well, uh, Kevin Mamouzet, compete forever uh, putting together this. And also uh, with the TO, the tournament organizing there. So once again, $400 guaranteed. First, $200. Second, $100. Third and fourth place, I uh, get $50. I appreciate it. Let's come back to this three box. Guys, I'm ready to go, man. We're talking about Super Smash Bros, guys. Let me ask you this. From what you've seen in qualifying and things of that nature and talking to these guys this morning, who's the favorite? You know, honestly, I have no idea. It could go any which way. Smash Brothers Ultimate is like one of those games where you see all these characters on the roster, and we're still getting more. All right, we, we just got the word on the Minecraft character, Steve, coming what? through. Steve? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Steve from Minecraft, a game that has sold billions of dollars. You know, the roster is going to be uh, continuing to continue blowing up with uh, the roster as it is. So, I mean, honestly, at this rate, we could see any of these eight make it to the, to the, end, to the end of this tournament right here. And Sasha, we got like 80 to 90 players in Smash Bros. I, I know my son was talking about Steve. How's a Minecraft character really going to beat anybody? It just makes no sense to me. But you explain that to the folks at home. I mean, Steve, who's Steve going to beat up, really? It's like, <laughs> it's like little uh, little Mac. Who's he going to beat up? Wow, you, you can't put down little Mac. That's because he got bad recovery. Doesn't mean he's not uh, that uh, bad on the stage. He's pretty good. But with uh, Minecraft, see, we saw in the presentation right before the tournament, funny enough, uh, we got to see it, the moves that he has. He's very capable of keeping his opponents out, setting up blocks to block your recovery from coming back on stage. Really prominent moves that knock your opponents far away. It looks really solid, even though he's limited in the sense of everything has a cooldown, everything has a limit. He can restock them back up, and they're, they're really strong hitting moves. Honestly, he looks like a phenomenal character he honestly like 
I'd say at minimum top 15 best character in the game just from the looks of it okay i'm guys i'm gonna bow out you guys are the pros you're the professionals go ahead and take it over i just got a couple of questions for you wombo combo up smashing where are you at where are you at <laughs> go ahead Thank guys you. take it away i'm done I, I ain't got enough to answer this go ahead no problem larry but yo to answer larry's question previously uh i i you know i'm gonna be honest i see sonic mains out there really doing the work in these online tournaments i gotta give them props i whether you are pro or anti you know not stalling what's the word playing safe as they say you know like sonic he looks like a really good character to take this tournament so far oh yeah yeah you got a shout out to the supergirl kells one of my uh favorite sonic mains all right so yeah we'll see let's see if we got that that sonic speed going through to the very end or uh you know you're gonna get pack, get sent packing home so we'll see what happens so yeah. i'm ready to go sasha this is this is gonna be an interesting one to start us off right here oh definitely i just got to say with that said, you know, I really like uh, I the Oh, we're not even seeing Sonic. We're seeing Young Link versus Shulk. Oh, this is going to be nice. Okay. This is going to be really nice. For those who don't know Shulk, uh, I'll one of my favorite characters in the game. He, from the Xenoblade series, has a really Three, interesting mechanic two, using his sword called one, Mato. That you, uh, essentially, you can give or take in some aspect of the stat while missing others. So right now we see him in Buster, which essentially means that you can dish out more damage and hit higher uh, damage ratio on the opponent. So I believe he can also take more damage while that And right now we also have Toon Link here. This looks like we're gonna be on the final destination version of Pokemon Stadium 1. Um, so again, Toon Link, one of those characters has a lot of uh, tools to use. Um, unfortunately right now, okay, we're getting that upbeat to get right back on the stage. Unfortunately for this Toon Link, we're sitting at 127%. Uh, percent. That is not looking good. And like you saw, as I explained earlier, with the Buster input, he was able to dish out so much damage so early in the game. You gotta worry about things like that. You're not be careful on how you approach, and you have to kind of make them waste their buffs, waste their, uh, their issues when it comes to inputting different Monado styles. You see him use shield, you can dish out more damage because you hard to block. You see him use speed or wind, he'll be able to stay in the air longer and use faster, so you're try to play around it. Now we on Buster as of right now, he's just hitting with the smash moves. He got two hits and he went up 40%. Now he's at 61%. Alright, so here we go. Young Link making his way. Oh my gosh, to the other stage. Ha having a really hard time getting around uh, all this offensive by Shulk. Finally getting some offense of their own right here. Here goes the forward smash with the trading uh, sides right now going back and forth. Young Link with the upper hand. Ooh, and that's unfortunate, Sasha. Shulk, what do you say about that? Yo, Shulk trying to get the kill, but Side B, unfortunately, not, aim, not even close enough to the ledge. Not able to clip it, and then gets, oh, ends up losing the stock for it. But I see him coming back, using the counter, Monado's uh, key special trait to Shulk. Here we go, the fire arrows right here. Forward smash, gonna apply some damage, bringing them to 73% right now. Very nice. A uh, string of combos, if you will. Up smash, gonna add way more percent to that. Like, that's not looking good. Great counter by Shulk. Here we go. Backing off into the arrow. Once again, nice grab with the up throw. Trying to catch with the up B completely whiffs. Not a single hit. A lot of uh, back and forth action. Oh man, that hit. That's pretty scary. And we see Renato, I mean, we see Shulk really keeping up with the high damage, not dying yet. Ooh, but punishing very optimally, understanding that because he has high damage, his opponent will try to go on for a kill move. And at that moment, either wait, shield, dodge, or hit him with a counter. Ooh, and we see Young Lick unfortunately not able to recover and losing his stock. So the first game, I believe, goes to that Joseph. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out because their names don't match what they what they registered with. They're using the the, the, the good old governments and on their uh, their switches. <laughs> so man called himself Supersonic pulls out a young link. Oof. <laughs> yeah, right. We, we that's the uh, that we got we all got that mixed there. So yeah. I gotta say though, Joseph, I see with that Monster Hunter icon, mad respects as a fellow Monster Hunter player. You know, this top quality right there, top yeah. quality. Hundred percent. So will we see a character change? Or will we see them go right back into the next match with the same characters? Let's find out. Oh, we see uh, Super Sonic going out and switching characters. He might be picking his actual main Sonic. Let's see how it goes. I think Sonic would be a really good matchup against Shulk, seeing as uh, he has he can play more patient. He can get the round start, get the damage in, or get the uh, ratio life lead, and just sit back. All I gotta do is essentially just play the waiting game. Like, hey, 
At this point, I control neutral. We gotta come to me for, at this point. Not real fast. All right, so here we go. We got the Sonic pick as we were hyping up and waiting. Yo, let's go. Hit him with that supersonic speed. So let's see here. Game two. Joseph in the lead right now with one point. Or... So far, game started. They keep it they're getting close. Ooh! Sonic tried to cancel his hit off of the counter with jumping, but unfortunately, the wide hitbox range for his counter still smacked him up from the top. And now, Sok is in the lead with a good 40 something percent life. Okay, so right now, Sonic is just trying to, you know, find his way in. Funny enough, it's normally an issue with uh, anyone that's opposing Sonic, because Sonic has, you know, more than likely the faster speed. Uh, in in uh, most matchups, so here we go with the uppy to safely recover. But unfortunately, that wasn't safe at all. Gets forward smash completely for the first stock of this set here or this game. Excuse me. Yo, Joseph really getting hyped to the point where he's just off camera jumping up and hype like, yo, I'm in the zone. I got the life lead. I don't care. You, I don't care. You playing Sonic? I got this game down pat. Every time you came to approach, counter. You got the neutral game on lock. But now we see <laughs> Super Sonic really going in like, you know, I don't care. Gonna counter. I'm just gonna hit you wherever I can. Get the any percentage I can to uh, knock out your stock. Oof. But now we see them trading blows, hitting on shield, not really. Uh, Committing, not committing, not really landing proper hits in certain areas. We see so ooh, still with the stock lead, but unfortunately at a decent enough high percent. One good forward smash, and Super Sonic can really take that stock. Here we go fine. Safely makes it safely onto the stage right now. It's looking pretty even as far as the percentages go right here. Uh, both Joe and Super Sonic are, you know, exchanging blows right here here on Final Destination. And a uh, nice down smash, or down air, excuse me. Here we go with the forward air to get Sonic off the stage. Let's see if they get the correct read off the ledge. Oh, man. Not, not essentially the first read, but essentially committing and following through, waiting to punish, and knocking out Sonic's second stock. At this point, if this match could use the same way it is, so Joe's will be walking away with a clean three-stock victory in the second game. Okay, nice series of uh, uh, sword attacks there. Hit him with a nice call for Clean counter hitting off Sonic. Yo, Joseph is really playing phenomenally patient, keeping away. Like, yeah, I have a high damage percentage, but it's fine. I got the neutral. I don't gotta worry about it. You gotta come to me, and every time you do, I hit you with a tilt, a counter, or a fair, and he takes the third stock, a clean three stock on that second game. Wow, that shulk was looking pretty, pretty nice, my man. You couldn't even see him in the shot the entire time. No. He was jumping up like hungry box. <laughs> Like, yo, let's go. Didn't this even know what character. the seat was. Oh man. So I feel like I feel like Super Sonic can definitely turn this around if he does a mix up. With Sonic, you can always approach and pull back. There's always a way for you to make it look like you're gonna come in for a move. You don't have to always commit. You can always spin dash back and forth. You can uh, back dodge, or you can you can uh, roll away. You can jump. You don't have to commit to a dash attack or a specific move. Absolutely. Uh, so if he gets Shulk. To maybe read Shulk and get him to whiff moves, I can honestly feel like he can punish him and then knock him off stage. All right, so here we go. Going back to uh, what is this? Omega Pokemon Stadium One again. This is where we started this set at the beginning. So right now, uh, looking like Joe is literally up two to zero using this Shulk right now. Pretty dominant so far. Uh, going up against uh, our predictions and uh, what we hyped up initially gets a lot of these counters off. And Supersonic seems to be super adamant and just trying to get any kind of offense in. And that's something that will most likely cost them uh, the set. I mean, remember, there is no loser's bracket here. This is a single elimination tournament uh, for this top eight. I like to say, though, in the beginning of this match, we see Super Slank, I guess, listening to the commentators, giving that information. In the first few interactions he had, he was dodging, he was not committing entirely, and he hit used one hit that was jump cancelable to the point where Shulk tried to use counter, and it completely missed. So he definitely can adapt. You just gotta try to stick with it and not put himself in a situation where he'll be continuously hit by Shulk or give himself up to take so much damage. We see he's now at 122, he's really gotta play smarter. See, exactly, that's what you need to do supersonic. You need to essentially have him activate something you want, cancel out of it, and then punish him for it. All right, so here we go right here. Again, trying to get something going on, and Joe Kidney with the first stock yet again. A very dominant starting lead right now. So, uh, still holding out to three stocks, 59%. He's looking pretty good so far. 
Uh, Super Saiyan try uh, is struggling right now, but falls for every single counter forward tilt um, offensive that uh, Joe has ready for him. It seems like. Look at this. Get it into the position and the counter attack again. This counter has literally been the clutch maneuver uh, for Joe Kidney. Oh, just really getting in that work. Hey, I, I gotta give props. Like, this man is just like, he's hitting the right buttons. He's punishing accordingly. When we see Super Saiyan so trying to make some small adjustments, you see him learning and adapting. You see him getting around some of the counters more, but not punishing him for it. And Joe is just like, it's fine. I got the life lead. I got the stock lead. It's all good. All I gotta do is chill out, wait for you to do a move, and you either commit too hard, I can punish you. Ooh! But we finally see Super Sonic landing a well-time forward smash in his wake up, coming off from the ledge, and finally taking a stock in the set. Well, in this game, during the set. <laughs> yeah, here we go. I had that slip up earlier. Um, but, you know, that forward smash was looking nice. It was nicely spaced out, too. He read the recovery on the ledge and literally just let it rip like it was some Beyblade um, as soon as they came onto the stage at the right time. So really good stuff to Super Sonic making that adjustment and that adaptation. Let's see if they can clutch this one out. Right now, it's looking like I'm looking at these stocks right here, and uh, uh, it is it is pretty even. It's two two to two right now. Of course, Supersonic does have the life disadvantage, trying to find their way in, and unfortunately gets countered yet again. Joe Kidney has been making great use of this counter. As you can see, this guy is literally on his feet, nowhere near the seat. Um, I don't mean to spit these bars at you, Sasha, <laughs> but you know, sometimes. You just got to let him know super hot style. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, like, I definitely feel that Joseph, he's not even on view of the camera because he's so focused on this game, so hype. I got to give props. You know, this man's in the zone. I can't I can't judge. Like, this this man in it. This man in it to win it. He's punishing properly. He's seeing that uh, Super Sonic is really hungry to land those hits. Is there any opportune time? Is there going to be a tilt, a, a smash move, or a counter? And counter really showing off how well it can be used in this game, even if it's situation like that where whiffs. Yes, uh, shield to rely on and keeping himself from getting knocked back even though he got punished for using counter. Ooh, in the back here. Okay, good stuff to Super Sonic. Finally, uh, evening out the, the stocks right now. Of course, again, uh, okay, avoids the counter this time around. But you see that, that forward tilt that Joe Kidney is using. Uh, quite uh, smart in, in, in that situation right there. That long range has been a clutch factor. And right there, Joe Kidney going to go and take it. From Super Sonic with the Shulk, you know this is a this is probably one of the first times that I've ever seen a Shulk in top eight at any Smash event um, in recent memory that I you know that I've seen. So so good stuff so far. Uh, Joe Kidney's gonna move on to the semifinals um, with with this Shulk. So how, how, what do you what do you what are your thoughts on this match that we just saw so far? I feel like. Super Sonic had some of the knowledge, but it wasn't coming in fast enough. No one here fast enough. He was learning on the fly how to get around this counter. You saw several times during the third game where it was just like, oh, I'm going to just hit a button that has uh, cancelable options or low uh, recovery, jump, and then get around counter. And a couple times you see him punishing him for using counter while he jumped out of it. But unfortunately, Joe was very patient. He kept the uh, the neutral pretty strong. We're like, hey, you have to approach me. Yeah, you're Sonic. You can hit me and run away. But if I have the life lead, you have to, in every single moment, approach me. And all I got to do is time a tilt, time a smash, counter you. I got the neutral down. Like, it's, just, it's so, yo, I'm really feeling it. That's essentially Joe. Was like, <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, good stuff. I'm filling a commercial break, guys. You ready? You ready to take a commercial break and get to this uh, second quarter final? Sure. Definitely. All right, let's do it. Uh, we got Sasha. We got Uchi Wale Wale Uchi Bang Bang. We'll come back, Larry Ridley, here with more on the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Championship. Come back with the second quarter finals after this timeout and commercial break from our partners at Dale, Lucid Sound, Rap Snacks, and also Scans. What up, Scans? Got to get that oil on you man that cream with the cbd oil man pain discomfort focus all that stuff i'll see you gary climbing we'll come back after this break in uncertain times you want solutions polk state college offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs flexible in-person online and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in polk county at a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Sasuke. Mr. Wilson with a number. Rap snacks. 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 Get in that bag. 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 I need that. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Welcome back to the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. Polk State College, of course, beautiful facility down there uh, in Florida. Over 20,000 students, multi-campus institution, main campus in Winter Haven, Florida. Got Lakeland, got Bartow, Lake Wales as well. Shout out to the folks at Salo Student Activities Leadership Office. Melvin Thompson, the broski down there, doing great work. Uh, putting together all of these events. He's the director of CELO Student Activities and Leadership Office. Uh, so shout out to all the folks down there, Polk State College, Compete Forever, Kick, Punch, Block, all the good folks uh, bringing you this fun program. All right, we'll come inside. Larry Ridley here, SMI TV, a uh, little NBC Sports, a little Madden NFL, a little NBA 2K League. I uh, got the three bros or two bros with me. Got Black Atlas, kids call him Sasha, and also got Uchi Games or Uchi Gang, depends on if you're on Twitter or IG. Guys, you ready? Yes, yeah. sir. Got more? You guys got got the adrenaline going a little bit in that first uh, match? Oh yeah, we saw some some high paced action, a lot of counters, a lot of lot of tilts, a lot of pokes, a lot of smashes, Ooh. as the uh, the game would you know make you think. So yeah, we're we're ready to go, ready for this next one. I hope mm -hmm. hope I don't I don't even want to call <laughs> or predict who we might see because as we got schmixed, Sasha. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, we could see any any character. Joe said, you got to be kidding me. Waka, waka, <laughs> waka. Uh, you guys better put some respect on Joe kid me name. I'll tell you that. You better do that. Uh, we got Pharaoh. We got uh, G Dreams. What, what is that? G Dreams. Zero two. two. Yep. Zero two. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and dive in, guys. You guys take it away. Let me get out of here. Okay. I wonder what these two play. We're still getting to know some of these players. We uh, tried to, I guess, make a, a, a proper assumption based off the previous players. We saw uh, David going by Super Sonic. Like, you got to be a Sonic man. And the man pulls out Young Link. So we're like, well, it's, a, <laughs> it's anything goes in this bracket. We don't know who's going to be playing who. Yeah, that's, that's one of the it's one of the best things that you could, um, you know, get get mixed off of right here. I mean, we're looking at... Oh, it looks like we well, it looks like we got Joker and Lucario. So uh, Lucario, you know, has been one of those characters that you see off, like you know, here and there. Um, not, I don't know about in, in top eights like this one, but Joker is definitely um, a character that was added into the Fighter Pass one, um, and uh, a fan favorite at that. Sakurai, Daddy Sakurai, of course, loved uh, working with the Persona. Um, IP bringing in uh, Joker into this game, but right here we're gonna go off on the Omega version of uh, Battlefield. So there's no platforms here, of course. This is all flat stages, a lot of back and forth action. Probably gonna see a lot of projectiles out of both characters, of course, um, and some counter attacks. Uh, I just, I, I just realized, uh, I, I forgot. Joker, oh, here comes the uh, what is this? I almost called it a stand. Shout out to the to the JoJo fans out there that might be watching. <laughs> might as well be a stand. In fact, I believe personas were like lightly uh, inspired by the stand concept brought to you by JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, this is a stand Arsene used in the Persona 5 games. One of uh, the more iconic characters you see as of late. He is a really good asset to Joker in this game for the fact that while Joker has his own buttons and damage, uh, Arsene comes out and hits right behind you. So a move that would normally hit once or twice for Joker will end up hitting three or four times with way more knockback because of how strong uh, Arsene is. But at the cost, you have to either manually charge your uh, meter for that or take a lot of damage or hit your, have him attack your counter stance to get that character out. So you have the risk of really hurting yourself to get Arsene out. Uh, to really commit and damage your opponent. Similar to the sense of Lucario, for those who don't know, this character's uh, concept is if he's behind by a stock, if he has way more damage, he has an aura factor on top of the game's rage mechanic. So he knocks back way farther, he does more damage. They both really capitalize it when they're both on high percentage in damage and can kill their opponents like such, using counter and knocking a high octane <laughs> and a character like Joker right off the stage with 140 damage. Yeah, it looks like these, a lot of these players so far in this tournament, not just this set in particular, but we've been seeing a lot of characters that have have some sort of a counter uh, maneuver in their moveset right here. So of course, charging up the Aura Sphere fully, tries to get countered on his own, and both players just really making great use of their counter attacks. I feel like the rest of this tournament uh, literally speaks for itself. We're gonna be seeing characters with a counter guaranteed or our money's back, right, Sasha? Essentially, they gotta get that money back for the DLC packs, bro. And we see like Arsene, another example of how you use Arsene. He waited till Arsene was out, 
kill twice with that counter. Normally, if you don't have Arsene out, all you're doing is building the mirror to get Arsene when you counter. But when Arsene is out, he has double the knockback, it will send flying. Essentially, if you have anything more than 70 and you're like a lightweight to midweight, you're just gonna die to counter every single time, especially if you're on the opposite end of the screen. And we saw here, even though Joker was facing the far right, of the screen, Joker was on the far right of the screen. He used Connor Lucario. Lucario was sent way back across the stage and died for it. He lost the whole stop. Yeah, that's, that's right. So, unfortunately, um, we're gonna have to see if uh, we can see uh, some kind of a comeback. Of course, you don't, we don't, no one likes getting shut out 3 0, right? Oh, definitely. So no character sw switches. We're staying and we're staying on the exact same stage that we played on the first one. They're gonna go right into it. No time wasting. Lucario racking up that damage by the Joker by G. Uh, I'm sorry, by uh, Pharaoh doing a great job so far. Already with the uh, the lead here, one zero uh, against G Dream right now. G Dream trying to bait out uh, Pharaoh to attack him while he has that counter open, um, and it looks like right now. Uh, Pharaoh, being that he does have a game lead, it seems like they're trying to uh, space out G Dream and try to play in the, the long game here. Just throw out those projectiles, that side B. We have a, a, a gun, of course. Any any character with a gun usually is pretty good. Would you, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> oh, definitely. Most of the projectile users in this game, really strong. Even slow characters like Samus or uh, Dark Samus, you really see capitalize on their multiple use of projectiles. They're able to control the screen and not have to always commit to getting close. And we even see here Lucario, while a very up and close and personal character with great damage and great counters like using Palm and counter like that, you see him capitalize and using Aura Sphere, hitting with that Rage, he has high damage on top of the Rage Factor, and uses Aura. He is capitalizing and punishing, does not even fully commit to get close. We still, still trying to get close, trying to get Lance and hits, but Joker himself punishing every single entryway which uh, Lucario came back from. Yeah, that was a really good uh, pivot wait. It was a little bit of a patience. And then, of course, he struck when the time was absolutely necessary. Just like that, once again, with that forward smash, great call out, great uh, spot to pick from. G Dream just trying to uh, establish some kind of a dominance here on the stage. And great counter again, hitting, uh, getting the confirm in the air. But oh, Pharaoh says, if you could do it, I could do it better. I got a, a, a persona with me. Here comes Arsene. And again, another counter. G Dream playing way too aggressive, way too offensive. Sometimes you gotta, you know, lay back, let your opponent throw out something first before uh, you, you get too preemptive here. Exactly it's something that uh, anybody could do in just about any uh, fighting game. Oh, definitely. You really seen this? Like, girl, people say persona, but I feel like this is honestly like secretly Dio Brando from Jojo. He's hitting them all over with the world. The man's just goes waiting. I'm gonna punish, get a capitalize, uh, counter every single time we try to approach. It's very reminiscent of the previous match with Joe and Supersonic, where he's just like, I'm gonna wait and then punish. They're gonna get close. Oh, counter every single time. Even now, he's using the counter hits to uh, rack up his mirror for Arsene to come back, but thankfully, we see uh, uh, Dreams really adapting, only hitting him with the jab, so he's not committing uh, and getting himself trapped by getting out high damage on the Joker, getting his Arsene out. But unfortunately, Arsene's still coming out. It's not just for damage, also, it's a little bit of time as well, building up that meter. And now, Arsene is in a, pro a proper time to punish Lucario with a well timed button, whether it's a counter or any of his tilts. Ooh, but Lucario Ooh. capitalizing on that counter. Yeah, again, this is this is this is this is the tournament of the counter moves. Literally that we've been seeing loads of counters and actually effective counters being used right here. Again, a lot of dash attacks and another counter. Here it is. Up there just twice, and now he has Arsene out. While Lucario does gain a lot from having his high, high damage and aura, unfortunately, one good hit from Arsene, and that's game. He has to watch out, not throwing out too many moves unnecessarily, and then not putting, putting himself in a negative position where Arsene can capitalize and punish. Like that, he spaced out, thankfully, uh, Arsene whipped, or rather Joker and Arsene whipped, so he couldn't kill, but if he had been a little closer, that would have definitely been game. Oh, and just like that, a counter for a counter. G Dreams is gonna even up the stakes right here, one to one uh, during this set. So guaranteed no shutting out for this set uh, here in this top eight right now. And I don't think there's gonna be any character switches, but you know what, let me not commentate or curse this before uh, <laughs> it actually happens. That, that, oh, that, that is something that uh, we see too often, but I do actually like how uh, both of these guys have been taking their time before 
completely just going straight into the next one. Like I always like to say, Sasha, in just about any game that we commentate together, mm -hmm. you got to stay cool, calm, collected so that you can play comfortable. All right. Oh, you three C's with the bonus. So here we go. Let's okay, see. Three. Same stage and everything. We're not changing nothing here. We like the scenery. We're going to we're going to stay. If it works, it works. I really love the fact that yeah, both of these characters are have fantastic comeback mechanics, like their own personal egg factor or sparking for those Marvel and Dragon Ball players. These characters can just really come back from the brink of death like, oh, I'm really low. Oh, well, time to use this really broken mechanic I got <laughs> or this really strong tool that I have to just make it all the way back. Yeah, well, you know what? It's funny because, you know, shout outs to, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z. As you said, Sean Schemmel actually did voice Lucario. Oh, yeah, you're right. He did. Yo, was, hey, you gotta, gotta believe. Secretly is Saiyan. That's where Lucario comes from. <laughs> exactly. I, I come back stronger every time. I almost die. <laughs> Absolutely. Lucario with the spirit of a Saiyan. But being from Pokemon, imagine that crossover. But here we are, Super Smash Brothers, the game true of to crossovers. We're seeing characters join the party from all sorts of games this game is definitely a very uh celebratory game of video games in itself right now both of these players trying to find their neutral ground and you see notice the side b as you were saying the 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 higher the hp on uh, or higher the the percent excuse me on lucario means that a lot of these moves have longer range and just more damage output so this is super dangerous um for for pharaoh pharaoh's got to be uh, really careful here to make sure that he doesn't get hit by anything. Yeah, and the beautiful thing about Lucario now, he has a high percentage just not to even get too close. Tilt smashes, push forward B, and using uh, Aura Sphere, he can be a good body away and not have to worry about getting hit by any of Joker's buttons. He can just keep back, throw out one of those as a good neutral option, and then come in and commit. Oh, he's gonna whip a move here, I'm gonna come for a dash attack, he's gonna whip a move here, I'm gonna with a well spaced Aura Sphere or a sub smash. Ooh! And as we see right here, take the first stock of game three and then lose. Oh, almost loses that stock. Wow. I thought he was about to turn around on it right here. It's like, yeah. oh, okay, you're going to take one of mine. I'll take one of yours. No, I tell you, these, these are both fantastic comeback characters. Now, Joker is great for Rushdown as one of, obviously one of the best characters in the entirety of Smash. Uh, being played by the world's best player, MKLeo. He also has a fantastic comeback factor and doesn't have to worry about it. Like, oh, I'm in the lead. Oh, I'm not in the lead. Call this take it right back. Okay, here we go, Sai, oh my gosh, another counter. We're getting ready, we're getting geared up, man. Things are getting a little high. If you notice the, the player cams, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely getting heated in here, I feel it. Oh, the, the, the dreams is really getting in the zone, like, nah, fam, I'm not gonna be using the stock, you gotta get back into it. Sitting up, getting more focused, worrying about his uh, descent up from up in the air, worrying about Arsene hitting and punishing him as he's trying to land. But thankfully, he goes low away from the stage, comes back with an up B, and he's back on the stage, and punishes him back a stock up yeah. over uh, rap, uh, rap, uh, Pharaoh, excuse me. Pharaoh, Pharaoh literally has been uh, trying to play the safe game with, with creating space with Joker using those guns, but over committing a little bit too much on the approach. And G Dreams has actually, you know, shown some great adaptability, especially during this game right here. Um, you know, punishing as soon as the opportunity arises, going right through the side B and another counter. Again, this is the tournament of the counters. That must be another one coming back right from Arsene. And I really do like uh, to see how Lucario is not committing too close whenever he recovers. Yes, he's always rolling in forward or coming in forward, but he's spaced well enough. So he's like, hey, you're going to throw out the move, you're going to whiff, or I'm just going to be in the perfect space to throw out a counter. You're going to try to poke me, and I'll punish you for it. Oof. But Arsene ends up taking the last stock in game three. Now the set is up 2-0. Pharaoh, if he wins the next game, he moves on to the semis. All right, yeah, absolutely. This is literally a, a game set point um, situation right now. When you're at 2-1, it's like, okay, the, the stakes are even higher. The pressure is on. Who are we going to see? Are we going to get to game five, or are we just going to close this one out, and is Farrell going to move on to take this? Yep. So let's see here. Game three. You have Joker up two games. Yeah, but all these, these these players are getting hyped up. They're getting ready. Let's see how game three starts. I like how uh, Joker going for a full jump, like trying to uh, fill out for this next game, seeing what he can do. 
is again at like zero percent damage she's getting the first few hits in very perfectly spaced projectiles forward tilts very smart play for him and even far enough for his uh enhanced side b is not reaching far enough to hit him and then punishing him for doing so Oof! but finally getting hit the first one on the board for d dreams yeah a lot of exchanging blows and trading spaces and places right here on this on this stage oh goes to the counter at the ledge once again See what happens here. Oh, he hits him with a nice time projectile. Ooh, with encounters back. You gotta be really careful with these characters. It's running off. Oh, they both counter right in front of each other. That's exactly what we're talking about. The match of the counters. Well, this tournament, we all counters. We gotta wait and see. But so far in this match, it's just, hey, whoever can read the opponent faster and get their counter out better. Oh, charges of the R sphere. It looked like it was reversed. Again, you, de you do get ca caught with that reverse RS, where you do get um, some of the uh, some of the, the lingering damage built up from that for that RS here. Um, and right now, Pharaoh again just trying to trying to get any any dash attack in, literally going for a super aggressive playstyle. And again, there's a third dash attack that we've seen. Another one, four. Ooh, we're gonna keep it going. Pin him off on the ledge. What I'm interested to see here is that the one way to get around his counter, I haven't seen the Sicario use so far. Well, he used it as a good spacing tool, but he hasn't capitalized on high aura rage mode Lucario using that move. Using side B while up close, well, the center's opponent flying, especially when he's at high damage. But we've only seen him use it as a spacing tool. Okay, here we go right now. Dash attacks city. Right here, we got all the dash attacks. We're just trying to rack up this damage right now. Forward smash, trying to follow it up with a dash attack. And here we go, G Dreams finally catching on, countering this uh, super aggressive play. But you know, sometimes if 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 the opponent is a, is that much quicker, sometimes counter doesn't even come out quick enough. Oh yeah, definitely. You guys have some characters that have like the all uh, uh, counters that come out hopefully in the first couple of frames. If you don't, you're gonna end up getting yourself hurt. You gotta worry about that. You gotta worry about the uh, frame that your character has and how often you can do with your situation and your tools. But thankfully we see here both Lucario and Joker for the most part have decent startup frames on their counter so they're both able to use at the very last second. Unfortunately, uh, G, -Dream G Dreams is really uh, getting hit hard losing that stock. If he loses one more stock, that's the set for the rest of this uh, tournament and he will be out. Oh, very nice recovery, good job. Uh, and uh, Joker would proceed to the semifinals. Oh yeah, so here we go right now. Dash attack once again. A lot, loads of dash attacks right now. No, this is so dark and ominous with these dash attacks. Gale game is like, yeah, I'm just gonna go to a little lower tint. This ominously strong neutral tool. Oof, and then hit him with a forward tilt as well. That's another tool we haven't really been mentioning that he's been using this entire game. Well spaced forward tilts, especially with Arsene out. Ooh, but then gets punished for doing so and get hit with a counter. Now if Lucario can just keep his um, damage uh, from going any higher while uh, punishing Joker, he can honestly take this next time. Another counter for every single blow right now. Both players are just playing super desperate right now because they know that it is getting close. The, the lifelines are all up right here. There goes another dash tag. The lights have been undimmed. We are here. Ooh, whipping that, uh, ooh, that full aura sphere, and then unfortunately, Z Dream's really feeling the heat and losing that stock while Pharaoh takes it 3 1. Oh, yeah, so congratulations to Pharaoh to take it 3 1 uh, in this set. That was, ooh, that, yeah, that was a lot of back and forth, if, you, if I do say so myself. Okay. Loads of dash attacks, loads of counters, a lot of desperation maneuvers. Um, and, and you know, just just as we see uh, Lucario giving uh, some kind of applause, so does Pharaoh. So a great great sign of sportsmanship from Pharaoh. Of course, Pharaoh going to be moving on uh, to be facing Joe Kidme once we get to uh, that portion of, of the bracket. But again, guys, uh, congrats to everyone. Uh, you know, everyone's a winner here. Of course, that you made it this far. Top eight is uh, a no no slouch. Uh, you know, nothing to be you know upset about. So definitely. Uh, great stuff to to everyone, but you know what? How about that set, Sasha? What what, what, what was what was like the, your favorite part of that match? I love how everyone's just like, I'm gonna come with the move, cool counter. But wait, what if I counter? And it's just the I. It's like the mentality of both of the players are very similar. Well timed speed, well timed tilts, well timed dash attacks, well timed counters. It was like essentially the two two of the same players fighting themselves while using separate character, different characters. Like honestly, <laughs> right. if they both swapped mains, it would have been the same. Honestly, the same outcome. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I gotta agree with that one.
All right, good stuff, guys. Uh, you guys are killing it on the mic here. Larry Ridley back here as we get ready to take a commercial break here. Uh, we'll go to uh, a, a break. We'll come back with more of the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers uh, championship here for Polk State. As you take a look at the bracket right there, Pharaoh and Joe Kidney coming up. On the other side, we got the other two quarterfinals coming up, and then we'll be in the semifinals and then the finals as we come back with more on the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers championship after this quick timeout. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu. Mr. Wilson with a number. Frap snacks, frap snacks. 
In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Mr. Wilson with a number. Rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
We're back for the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Championship. Polk State multi-campus institution down there, a main campus uh, in Winter Haven outside of Orlando. You got campuses also, uh, satellite campuses in Lakeland, Bartow, and Lake Wales. Over 20,000 students there. The student at, well, let's see, student activities and leadership office. That's CELA. Once again, students uh, activities and leadership office there. You can see it. Melvin Thompson, the director down there. As we come back here inside, Larry Ridley here, SNY TV, little NBC Sports, little Man NFL, little NBA 2K League. Uh, this is a Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship, uh, Polk State College Championship. Got Sasha, got Uchi here. Let's take a look at the bracket, guys. We got the third quarter final here as we get set to wind down here for this Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. You can see the names there as we get set to play. Got Mike and the other guy about to play. Guys, go ahead and dive in. Let's go. Third quarter final. All right, let's get it. Thank you, uh, Larry. For that, uh, we're going to get right into it. As he said, no time to waste here. We got Mike versus Alejandro coming up next. Yay, I'm really excited. I got I to see who Alejandro plays. I'm real, I'm real hyped to see this. But, you know, as, as a fellow man of the uh, Onga Bunga nature, and if I didn't, <laughs> I got to say, I'm really glad to hear that uh, Mike is throwing out the big boys, the big guns, King K. Rule. Oh, oh yes. they're both going Onga Bunga is King K. Rule versus Donkey Kong. Yo, it's the N64 matchup of a lifetime. Yo, the Super Nintendo match of the century. You got hero versus villain, Donkey Kong versus King K. Rule. Let's see how this match goes. You too excited? Yeah, oh yeah. The, the, this is the perfect stage to do it on too. A little bit, a little reminiscent to King Kong versus my man Godzilla. All right, we're here. We are now. We got the top eight, and this is exactly the kind of action we're expecting to see. A lot of unga bunga, as you said, trying to get those hits off in the air to get a nice old spike going. But you know, that's a that's a big belly and a a, a spiky crown that's very peculiar. If you get hit with it, you're gonna have a a, a bunch of damage going and ooh, spiking them through the stage off the ledge there. That was uh, a very great way to start this one off here. Full full energy right now. Let's go, I'm so hyped, this is nice. Again, for those who don't know, these two characters, while on opposite ends of the tier list for competitive players, are both fairly feared, whether you are a casual or a prolific uh, tournament player. King K. Rule himself has situations where he can trap you on the ground and punish you off of those moves. He can kind of control the stage, control the area using his projectiles of many types and his command grabs using uh, his gun, in fact. When he does a series of projectile, sucks you right back in. He can either launch you or, or relaunch the cannonball he suits back out. While Donkey Kong, more hands-on, big man with the plan, grabbing, throwing, chucking, and punishing. While his aerial options are not as strong, as King K. Rool, in terms of mobility, he himself is a very dangerous threat. As we can see here, using his noggin to punish and get the stock up on Mike. Yeah, using that super armor to throw some offense in return. Nice parry, looking a little third strikey Ooh. over here. Throw him into the ground. Oh, I'm so hyped. This is nice. I can't wait. Ooh, I love this matchup so much. It, once again, using the ground box and then punishing him using forward smash and then using the gun option to once again grab him back and then launch him further out. Ooh, I don't know if I do that. Oh! Do that. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, Ooh. so what happened there was, you know, Mike had the right, uh, the right read, and he had the right thing going for him, but unfortunately got clipped by the returning Donkey Kong with the upbeat traded positions, and ultimately uh, suffered that that down air that 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 ooh, you, the, the one move you definitely don't want to get hit with. But that's okay. That's how we're gonna start things off. A lot of, a lot of heavy hitters. For this one, exactly. Sasha. This this is literally how it's gonna go the entire set. I I hope if any set, I hope this one goes to to game five. But we'll see what oh, what happens. The one thing I would love to absolutely point out is how King Kuro was like, I'm gonna hit you with that down here. Donkey Kong dead looked at this man was like, what? Nah, fam, that's my down here. That took the stock. Just oof. I love this game so much. I love these two. Oh, we're going to Battlefield. Oh, the FD variant Omega Battlefield. No platforms to worry about. No juggling. Just using the ground, your hands, whatever weapons you can get your hands on. Just going at it. Oh yeah. So I like how I like how Mike is using making great use of that crown and his uh his vacuum cleaner, I like to call it, after he throws out that cannonball. Uh, brings it in, uh, really a great spacing tool, but Alejandro just doing a really great job turning things around. Um, Mike going in for a dash attack again with the cannonball, shoots it up, puts him in a very peculiar position. Oh, but he goes for the stage spike, man. Alejandro has literally just been turning this one around, but Mike with a great recovery. King K. Wolf has that great jet blue action right now. Being able to pay the premium. 
you're gonna pay the premium to get right back up on stage. Like, nah, fam, you're gonna hit me with the stage back. Uh uh. I can fly right back on stage. No, I'm taking that stock right back. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got again with the side B spacing from Mike, just trying yeah. to create some space. Uh, Alejandro again just literally able to turn it around completely in every situation right now gets clapped That's definitely something that you don't want to get in this game and the counter like I said This is the tournament of counters and King K rule does have one in case you forgot Donkey Kong of course does not But he does have two heavy hitting fists and some kicks when he needs to Yo, man, this man's using this noggin, using his hands, his feet. This is a well-rounded character. May not be able to fly as high, may not be able to stay in the air long, but this man will absolutely give you these hands, feet, and use his noggin to punish and take stocks, as we see here. Here we go. Uh, nice back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's a forward air. I forget that King K. Rool's back air actually spikes. Oh, yeah, definitely. You would think that'd be the other way around. Like, I'll make the forward air spike the back air like a good option. Nah, fam. We're doing, we're doing it in reverse. Shoots him right back out. Let's see if he goes for the spike. Uh, oh, misses it. When he misses the grab, too, unfortunate. Like, this, Mike, I feel you, fam. Let go. You got this. You're going in for the unga bunga. This is go in, grab him, give him the punch. Don't be scared. Alejandro doing a great, a great job just controlling the, the, the stage right now. This, this ledge guarding is doing great. And Mike just reversing it completely. Has the lead right now. Alejandro's on his last and final stock here uh, in the second game. Oh, and it gets baited, rolls right into the down smash. That down smash covers a good amount of space, of course. Look at how big this body is right here. I love how he thankfully jumped and not, not to get hit by the crown on his way down. Because for those who don't know, the crown follows King K. Roll. So once he throws it, from any point in time, if he's up or lower, the crown would point in that direction to follow, to follow him back like a boomerang. Yeah, I definitely do appreciate how Alejandro every time has changed up where he's throwing, especially once he gets in that cargo position right now. Um, totally, uh, m uh, wow, excuse me, uh, <laughs> just mixing up Mike as I mix myself up right now, trying to figure out exactly what's going on. A lot of uh, high-paced action right now. Throws him up, gets a little bit of a juggle combo. Nice forward air to return it. Mike back on the stage. Ooh, okay, a, a lot of desperation move. This is literally down to the wire and the counter at the end. That was amazing call. Mike just unleashed it. He, he, if, if, if this was not a PG stream, my man would just torn the shirt off. I saw the motion. I know what this means. I know what this means. Yo, Mike, you hype. From now on, go be hype, Mike. That's it. Like this man's like, yo, you're gonna down at me? You think it's gonna be a repeat of the last game? Nah, fam, counting. Uh, yeah, of course. Counter tournament of counters right here. And King K. Rool making good use of that egg at the very clutch moment right at the end where it mattered the most and that's that is is how you win it how you return the favor right here so one one here during this set right here we got mike we got alejandro uh, we're about to get right into it we're staying on the uh the omega version of battlefield hey man if they're gonna stay on omega they might as well just go right back to that to that uh that uh what is that the Mario odyssey stage I yeah think. mario odyssey i think it's uh what was it called Something to something chorus. Ah oh, man, it's, I'm really drawing my Mario knowledge right now. But you know what? I'm not drawing this hot, this high octane action, this hype. Seeing how much damage it back up. It's only been like 10 seconds. They're both already at kill percent. Oh yeah, these are two heavy hitters, as you said. Literally going back and forth right now, just trading blows. That down smash is gonna do it, man. If you roll into that down smash, it covers so much ground because of this big body. Uh, it, it's a super unfortunate to get hit by, but you know, like you know, for it's a great thing for Mike starting this thing off. Great recovery, got the jet blue pass on deck, traps him in the ground. Alejandro is, try, is having a very hard time trying to get something to stick, and Mike is riding with the momentum right here, Sasha. Oh my goodness! Ooh, but unfortunately, gets literally clapped. Met, met a round of applause, slap, taking the stock. Donkey Kong really showing when he he is the personification of catch these hands. Oh, dash attacks. I like, I like, I like the uh, the spacing from Alejandro just going back and forth right now, just trying to stay mobile at all times, trying to stay as fast as, as possible right here. Okay, good recovery by Mike, but again, great recovery by Alejandro coming right back onto the stage to see what Mike does. I see that Mike is trying to time the down air of his own uh, nicely, but of course, Alejandro with the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's um, recovery has definitely seen some improvements over the years and I would say this is probably one of the best versions of it and another down smash to close another stock out from Alejandro Mike is in the lead right now so this is very uh, a very good uh, game so far for Mike I would say 
this man just straight sucked him like yo if you high enough because i can just throw you across yo i just i can can i just say that this is the hypest i've been in a minute for this game like just you don't need to have like a top taste you don't need to have like the most technical characters it's like two characters from a beloved series just beating the snot out of each other left and right just going like yo i got big hands i'm gonna throw them yo go catch these yo we don't, we don't need all this technical stuff. I'm just going to take I'm gonna take my time. We're going to just keep throwing hands and see who wins. Yep, absolutely. Right now, it is one stock for one stock each right here. And he, he, wow, that was crazy. He caught the cannonball back. It looked like it was stuck in between those two characters. Yep, he actually waited. He shielded the cannonball, and the King Kingdom was like, oh, I'm just going to hold it. Oh, no. Oh, man, that's so unfortunate. So it looked like he was going for the ledge, but unfortunately missed it and overshot the landing and landed right in front of that horizontal clap. Uh, so that's something you definitely don't want to catch. The literal term, catch these hands, so like, that's the one thing you don't want to deal with this character. You have to be very aware. Try to your best to not land in front of him, space out properly, because a well-spaced, well-timed forward smash, that's it. All right, here we go. We're going to go right into the next game here. One to one, evened out. Mm -hmm. Can I just say, if you look into the stadium where right before the match starts, you see uh, uh, Mike, uh, not Mike, Alejandro with the old King K. Rule icon, but he's playing Donkey Kong. I get respects. These two are like faded to fight. This is nice. All right, so look, the game, the game's RNG is in our favor. We got the stage that we wanted, especially to see this particular matchup right here. Uh, shout out to Godzilla versus uh, King Kong. A little, a li somewhat reminiscent, of course. I, I would probably say Charizard would probably be a little bit more fitting for the Godzilla role, but. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. you guys forgot the better color palette. Absolutely, yes. There we go. Oh, no. Tries to uh, wait out the dash attack, but still gets punished for it. And instead, shoots out the cannon. Mike trying to preserve some kind of a, a, a footing here, but Alejandro doing a great job just racking up the damage. And this should do it. Yep. With tossing him off the stage. Alejandro right now is looking great so far. Let's see how Mike can even this back out. He's uh, down one stock. And if, uh... wait a second. I think it's, the it's two one in Alejandro's favor, actually. Yeah, not Mike. Mike is the King K rule player, but either way, uh, if uh, Alejandro wins his next game, that's it. Like, if he keeps taking, if he keeps up this lead with his stocks, like we see right here, oh, this might be the set, but I'm not gonna, we're not gonna commentate curses. I probably will. Mike, Mike is gonna come back, he'll come back fierce. He's gonna use his brains, like, nah, fam. All the King K rule mains come out there, share your energy, share the one brain so we have together, and then power through this match. Throws out the cannonball and great spacing, great ledge guarding right here. Gets the forward air. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, great tech. Not bad either. Ooh, gets right back up. Lives. It's a dark day for K uh, King K rule means. Hopefully yeah. that power through the smash. Oh, what did I say? Like this well spaced forward smash. It's just it's rough time. Don't want to a round of applause from King K rule unless it's in the windscreen. Yep, I like the spacing being created right now from Mike right now. He knows that he's in a deficit and he needs to play a little bit more safely. No! And then uh. that's the set. Oof. But yo, good stuff, good stuff to both of you players. Alejandro, you, you're pretty good. <laughs> I was pretty hyped. Like, yo, this man is like, yo, I'm not going to let you get away with your stuff. You may have caught me with a, a cannonballs a couple of times using the guns, using the down tilts to slam me to the ground and punish me. But yo, good stuff, Mike. That was, that was some clean King K rules play. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Great sports from Mike, of course. You know, got to give the credits where the credit is due to any player that, you know, comes out and makes it this far. So shout out to both of you guys. Of course, Alejandro going to move on to the uh, semifinals here uh, for this top eight bracket. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually glad that we got to see, uh, you know, these heavy hitting characters like Donkey Kong, King K. We don't really see too many of those in top eights. But uh, fortunately for us, we will be seeing more Donkey Kong later up. Uh, up next, we're going to have uh, TLM Gaming versus Midnight Beats. So have no idea who either of these players play. We're going to find out for you guys coming up very shortly. Mm -hmm. With that said, uh, Larry, you want to interject? Do you see anything you like? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's go ahead. I should hit the mute button to uh, unmute myself. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit the commercial break. We'll hear from some of our sponsors here. Uh, more of the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship coming up. Uh, we got the last of the quarterfinals, and then it's on to the semis in the championship after this quick timeout. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. 
flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu. Mr. Wilson with another one. Rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks. Rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks. Get in that bag, get in that bag, get in that bag. Get in that bag, get in that bag. I need that.
uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Polk State College, we're back. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship here. Polk State, uh, Polk State College down in Florida. Uh, I guess we can call it Central Florida. Lakeland, Winter Haven. Winter Haven right outside of Orlando, the main campus. Lakeland, uh, satellite campus is there in Bartow and Lake Wales. 20,000 students. Salo, uh, student activities and leadership office there. Melvin Thompson, the director. Uh, Polk State College, the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. Love those good folks down there. Uh, in the FLA. Let's come inside here, Larry Ridley, uh, SMR TV, little NBC Sports, little Madden and fellow NBA 2K League. Got the uh, two bros with me, uh, Sasha and Uch. Guys, we'll take a look at the bracket here. Last quarter final here, and it'll be uh, TLM Gaming uh, getting ready to play as well. Guys, go ahead and dive in and let's get this last quarter final in the books. Absolutely, Larry. Thank you again, once again. And uh, yeah, just as he said, we're going to get right into it. No time to waste right now. TLM Gaming versus Midnight Beats. We're going to, it's not, it's nowhere near midnight, but we're about to uh, lay down some super hot fire combos, Sasha. Ain't that right? You know what's funny? I'm, I see the name Midnight Beats. I'm like, this might play Midnight. And then lo and behold, he plays the Midnight Color for Kirby. I'm just like, I call that. I absolutely <laughs> call that. Yeah, so we got Kirby versus Corrin. Corrin, a character that I'm actually familiar with. I used to play this character a lot more in Smash 4. But we're here on one of the latest modified versions of Battlefield. I believe, what is this? Uh, small Battlefield. Small so Battlefield. essentially, okay. they removed the top platform and made it smaller. I think the blast zones are the same, if not a little smaller than regular. It uh, helps for more close quarters combat. It also alleviates some of the issues people had with, say, for example, uh, PS2, if whether they wanted the uh, hazards on or off, this stage essentially is a more compact, easily available PS2. Very nice, very nice. So here we go. London doing a great job starting things off, managing to get Kirby super high, almost into the blast zone area, keeping them off the stage with the back air. Very great use of that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you just got to stay fully committed to those up smashes. Those fully charging is something, something that we've seen a couple times so far in this matchup here. Um, backing off, gets, the, gets a nice counter to go off. And still, uh, MKB is managing to stay alive in this. This is pretty much anyone's... Uh, first stock, whoever just gets the first solid hit will definitely take it. What I like to see is that uh, MK Beats is really doing a good job of not fully committing every time he lands while he was using up, uh, air, up smash, not up smash, up special to uh, land. It wasn't really working out for him, so he swapped to using uh, down special. In that situation, he can cancel it so he doesn't have to get hit on his way down. He's safe, but once he cancels from a certain distance, he doesn't have to worry about landing options and putting himself in a bad position. Oh, and unfortunately, the Uppy was not, uh, had, didn't have the, the right amount of range to get right back onto the stage there. Or just taking that. London, oh, perfect example, as I said, when you are transformed, you don't take hits normally like the other, uh, like on your previous form. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you open for grabs, and we see London trying to take advantage, unfortunately missing, and Kirby uh, saving himself from that, but not saving himself from that well-placed counter coming from uh, TLM Gaming, doing a really good job of racking up the damage. Let's see if he can close out the stock. Here we go. MKB's trying to find something with that dash attack. TLM Gaming, of course, finding something in response. Uh, really good play so far. MKB find, uh, finding the way back onto the stage. But again, the tournament of counters. Corn, of course, coming from the Fire Emblem side of things. And beautiful up air to, mm. to close out that stock right now. MKB is struggling to find something happening. Uh, and CLM Gaming is just chilling. You see that smile on his face. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's like, I got this one in the bag. Hey. The one thing I would really like to say, uh, Corrin's up air is a really good tool, especially when uh, ladder, uh, ladder climbing, ladder comboing your opponents upward towards the top of the stage. Fantastic option. And that, it was actually nerfed twice. It used to uh, push further up and do more damage. But uh, Nintendo, I guess, felt like, eh, hey, let's nerf that a bit. And it's still a really good tool in the long run. Oof. But still not doing enough to knock back that up B coming from Kirby. Uh, Midnight doing a really good job of trying to get back in and punishing on his landing. Ooh. And while he is, unfortunately, at a deficit in the uh, percentage, uh, while uh, London is doing a really good job keeping himself away and keeping himself lower in damage, let's see what happens here, what his options are in terms of getting around Corrin and her really well-placed and long buttons. It was like TLM Gaming was feeling themselves there, literally trying to hit him with that upbeat finish on the stage, man. Sometimes, you know, you get a little, you get a little bit of that confidence boost. You're just going to throw some things out there, especially when you have the life lead to work with. With two stocks to play with, MKB's only with one and at the kill percent this is definitely not looking good for mkbs right now coming down with the with the down b rocks right now looking solid over here 
A very nice uh, pivot into down tilt and hitting him with the counter on Kirby's descent using his uh, down air move. Really good job from TLM Gaming. Fantastic taking the first set, two stocks up. Oh yeah, great start by TLM Gaming. Of course, he yeah, made that made some quick adaptations on the fly. Uh, we saw them using up smash often um, and just totally kind of changing that form of play style. Uh, definitely just adapting to midnight's. Uh, Arsenal again. Kirby, a very wild character. You know, Kirby can get a lot, away with a lot of things, a lot of dash attacks, a lot of aerial maneuvers. Um, so you got to watch out for those. And that's exactly what TLM Gaming was doing. So let's see how this second match uh, forms out for us in here in this next one right here. Yep. Going in game two. Let's see how uh, TLM Gaming does. And let's see if Kirby can adjust and make his way back in. Round start. Oh, Maranza going down from the platform, breeding the side beam, blocking, but unfortunately not being able to punish. He's using that with dash attack and the shielding. They're both still at the same percent, zero. Not really committing to a move, but ooh, finally lands a damage with that down special coming down. Ooh. And he puts the game well, punishing his, uh, ent his uh, entry using dash attack. Keeping up in the air. Even though Korn does have a fantastic aerial option, I feel like Midnight does not care enough so he keeps himself definitely up in the air like y'all do what i want it's fine okay here we go so far with the dash tag trying again trying to find something here we go he's trying to stick it into the ground right now both players a little playing a little bit more safer this time around it seems like so far this is struggle midnight is kind of going in with the, the back rolls and the forward rolls this man's like y'all uh, dodging is safe i don't care you lose uh, involved frames i'm gonna keep doing it what you gonna do touch me you can't and yeah, sometimes you just gotta let it rip. So here we go. The up B on the stage does have a projectile at the end of it. If you're coming down with Kirby, of course. Nice poke from TLM Gaming. Yep, at the end with the, the up B. Yep. Catch him on the recovery frames are using its transformation. For those who don't know, you are not safe if you teleport if you transform right back at a certain distance. And uh London was very, very adaptive in understanding that and punishing, and it continues to punish using Okorin's very good spacing long buttons. All right, here we go. Up B recovery gets on the ledge. MKB uh, giving TLM Gaming a little bit too much space, if you ask me, on that one. And TLM Gaming uh, able to turn it around with all of that space that MKB allowed him to uh, return to the stage nice and safely sound. And then I see uh, Midnight really doing a good job of using his dash attack on Corwin's recovery. Oh! Not committing to using the hammer, whipping at a certain point, but then punishing with a down special transformation. Good job. Now the game is uh, tied right back up to uh, two stocks each. Unfortunately, though, during uh, percentage wides, uh, London is still in the lead. Oh, and it's lost the lead right back. Uh, Midnight doing a really good job of getting back in, getting out the damage, and trying to play it safe. Yeah, trying to space out, space away from MK Beast right now because MK Beast is coming in hot with that dash attack uh, constantly. Uh, there he goes, gets that forward smash, has a, some good coverage there, and a great knockback and damage as well. MKB's again, really trying to catch him with that down B coming from the high up in the sky. Uh, the, the TLM Gaming is, is catching on super predictable, especially when you're doing it uh, multiple times in sequence right there. Finally gets it to work out there. Um, and again, MKB's just, instead of closing the gap, actually opts to create a lot more space. It gives TLM Gaming... A lot more opportunity uh, to play with, and you know, tail, you know, sometimes we take those, Sasha. Oh, absolutely! Like if you give me some room, I'm gonna do what I want. I'm gonna absolutely do what I want. But we see uh, London doing a really good job of getting back in, even though he's still low in terms of the percentage. Ooh, and we see Midnight doing a really good job of keeping him away or pushing him back. Oh, unfortunately, not surviving that side B input and losing a stock. Will he commit and take the stock back from London, tying it right back up, or will this game? Uh, drag on where London will keep his two stocks and eventually take the last stock from Midnight. About to find out right now. It's coming down to the wire. Of course, MK beats on his last stock. TLM Gaming with two left, even though the, the percentage is racking up and it's not def it's not a good thing here in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oof. And I like that that evasion going right into punish the down B once again. That's something that MK beats literally loves to do very often. Great yeah. punish, but TLM Gaming again, right at the ledge here. Playing it patient. Got to be careful with the, the ledge. Yeah, they worry about that when you, you divert to only one move 
for your options and coming down. You can't just rely on the old reliable every single time. At some point, someone's going to read you, and they're going to go, cool, and they're going to do it here. I'm going to punish you on the start of your transformation or the end of the transformation. You gotta, we got to be really careful about that. All right, there you go. MKBs this time not uh, throwing out down B. Really good stuff. Trying to play a little bit more... Uh, a little more cautious here. You definitely don't want it. You, ha you kind of have to. You're definitely forced to. A lot of dodge rolls right here. And yeah. finally, with the side B, TLM Gaming going to close out the second game in a row, 2-0, uh, up against MK Beats right now. That was actually a really good uh, use of that side B. Stick it right into the ground and then come charging forward at your opponent. Close out the stock. Um, so here we go. We have two games to nothing. So, Sasha, I mean, what do you say, man? Do you think do you think TLM Game is going to take this one convincing, or is MKB going to give us that surprise 3-0 uh, turnaround? So uh, for everyone who's been watching these streams from time to time, I try to give every player the benefit of the doubt. Be like, you know, it might come back. It might be a, a reverse 3-0. We don't know. We might see. I feel like if MK Beats does a really good job of readapting and applying himself, he could make it back, but it's going to be really tough because we've seen London very phenomenally play, punish in certain situations. Like, you can keep doing this move. I got this. You don't got to worry about that. Playing the true uh, Dragon Waifu right here, Corin, with the optimal buttons and the optimal reads, it's going to be really tough. But, uh, oh, okay. I like that. You see, he was trying to get the back air to uh, stage spike. That would have been super unfortunate to start off the match, and that would have been that would have turned totally turned the table and the tide. Uh, you know, with this momentum, you, Smash Brothers is definitely one of those games where once you start uh, building up that momentum, you just want to ride with it until the very last stock um, of the set. Oh, definitely. Ooh. But we see, uh, we can definitely see the momentum still kind of going strong for London. London has the life lead. He's doing really good at keeping uh, Midnight out, punishing him accordingly. Ooh, but uh, unfortunately getting clipped in that attempt to punish the forward smash. So that they go a little earlier. We got to remember that uh, out of transformation, you can't press a button if spaced and timed well. So you have to worry about your options and how far you are. Here we go. Oh, man, it gets the up smash. Doesn't kill just yet. MKB is going to slowly come down and gets down B. Yep, if you're not careful enough, if you're too under Kirby, we're trying to press an option. Kirby's uh, down special will definitely go right through it with armor and punish you for it. But as we see here, Cohen still took the stock and he's up one, two more, and that might be the set. Yeah, so CLM Gaming holding on to all three stocks so far. Uh, trying to pop him up with that Nair, that neutral Nair, of course, into the back here. That's a, a nice attempt at the conversion. Uh, unfortunately, right now, for TLM Gaming, trying to find something to stick. MK Beats finally coming in with the dash attack. Uh, gonna wait for him at the ledge. Uh, pops right back out of the side B and, or I'm sorry, the down B and gets it this time at center stage. MK Beats uh, evening out the stock count to two to two right here. Game number three. It's looking a lot better from uh, NK Beats, I will definitely say. Yeah, Midnight really showing his colors, invoking his inner Midnight and being as uh, adaptive as possible, trying to keep. Uh, the stocks, even though he's using the old reliable, it's working a little better now. Yep, okay, interesting. And TLM Gaming uh, sticking to his spot there. He, lo he was liking that uh, center stage, um, giving it up. MKB is rolling at the end of the dash attack, allowing TLM Gaming to capitalize and turn this all this whole uh, situation into a conversion, allowing uh, TLM Gaming to rack up the uh, the percentage against MKB's right now. MKB is coming down with the, the dash match. I didn't even see him obtain the Corin power. When did he do yep. that? At some point during in the beginning of your explanation, he actually swallowed up uh, uh, Corin and uh, copied her power. Now, for those who don't know, Kirby has the ability to copy powers of his opponents and uh, make very interesting and sometimes very adorable changes to his character model in the fight. Uh, Corin's uh, neutral button is of what power that he absorbs, so he can absolutely fully charge that for a paralysis and then Convert, uh, convert with a follow-up hit that could possibly kill. But unfortunately, we see Corrin properly hitting him with a nice up smash and punishing uh, Kirby's uh, aerial entry and taking the stock. Oh, nice back air again. Has the, has the stage control right here. MKBs makes it back on with the up B. Ooh. Yeah, too many jump approaches right now. TLM Gaming is catching on, uh, spacing that uh, very nicely. Using those uh, great air aerial maneuvers. Uh, Corrin still has some pretty good uh, aerials, if you ask me. Oh, definitely. Corrin, I feel like, is a pretty solid character overall. She's not like the best of the best, but uh, in the right hands, Corrin can really do some damage. Oh, yeah, 100%. Tries Ooh. to, ooh, yes, off that ledge in the up air. Again, mm -hmm. is going to close it out this time. TLM Gaming 3 0 victory over MKB convincingly.
uh, with Corrin. So a character that I was not expecting to see. Uh, but, you know, like I said, a great character to see. As always, great stuff to both competitors here. And uh, congratulations to uh, TLM Gaming to move on to the finals. Or, uh, excuse me, semifinals. Yeah, close enough. The finals is in the name. <laughs> yeah, right? No, oh, Larry, you take it. You take anything from that match? You see anything you like? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, the kid, man, just like his father, man. Uh, not, not too bad uh, over there, man. So <laughs> we'll get uh, set here for the semifinals, man. So what, guys? Three games left, and then we can get out of here, right? It's going pretty fast now. Yep, we got two semis, and then finals coming right up. I believe, who is it that we have? We have uh, so versus Fraps, uh, uh, Faralps, and then we have uh, TLM versus Alejandro. That's mm -hmm. it. So we'll start with the left-hand side of the bracket first, and we'll come back with the first semifinal of this Polk State uh, College uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship right here on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, here's some uh, messages from our partners. Uh, Dale, Lucid Sound, Scans, and all those good folks at Rap Snacks. We'll come back with the semifinals after this quick timeout. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Lost key. Mr. Wilson would have known that. Rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks. We're back for the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. Polk State College, fine uh, institution, multi-campus, if you will, the main campus in Winter Haven, Florida, outside of Orlando. I used to live down there in Central Florida near the Mouse House, Disney World. Uh, also satellite campuses in Lakeland, Bartow, and Lake Wells. 20,000 students. Shout out to Salo. Student Activities and Leadership Office, Melvin Thompson, the director down there, good friend of ours, good friend of the show. What up, Melvin? Good folks at Compete Forever, also Kick Punch Block, bring you the stream here on the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. Let's come inside here, Larry Ridley, SMY TV, little NBC Sports, little bad NFL, little NBA 2K League. Uh, got the two bros, got Black Atlas, a.k.a. Sasha, What's and good? also Uchi Wally Wally, Uchi Bang Bang. Guys, semifinals, you want to take a look at the uh, bracket real quick? Absolutely. So we got uh, Joe Kidme uh, versus Farops here in the semi, the first side of the semifinals. And after that, we're going to get uh, Alejandro up against TLM Gaming, who we just saw. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Go ahead, guys. Take it away. First semifinal, Joe Kidme and Farops. One, two, three. Okay. Who do you, who do you think will take this game, Uchi? So from the last, the last, uh, the last few games, um, now that we, we know who these guys are playing, so we're going to see a we're gonna we're gonna see a Shulk up against uh who who did Farrows play again? He played uh Joker. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We both both got counters, both got uh really good tilts. <laughs> so it it could, it, could, it could go either which way. I know it's gonna definitely be hype. As you see, we got the cameras adjusted and ready, so that way you guys cannot miss any of the action here. Uh, any kind of jump stand-ups or any kind of flips they might do on the screen, we're going to catch it all this time around, all right? Yep. So yep. Let, let's get this started, guys. The, the, the fight of the two anime boys going in, Joker versus Shulk. I feel like I want to lean on Joker, but then I've seen uh, Joe do some really good work with Shulk. It's like, it's it's tough. It's, it's tough. Uh, Frops and I really have to pay out of his mind. Oh, are we going to the native stage for Shulk? We're going to the Guar Plains. So let's go. So again, uh, Farops with 
with Joker. And you know what? I just feel like the second Joe Kidney hits a button, this guy just immediately gets off the seat. As you can see, this, this man is hype in the action. It's almost as if, like, you know, the motion of the ocean that is Joe Kidney literally affects his character and his gameplay. As you can see right here, the Shulk is actually doing a pretty good job right now. Uh, and Farab acting quick, very, uh, very quick to adapt. Uh, uh, to to Joe Kimmy. So it looks like this is a pretty even matchup so far. Pretty even now across the board. Both players just exchanging blows, changing up uh, the, the pacing, the spacing. You can see uh, Sulk really going in. I've noticed that uh, options that Joe Kidney likes to use essentially is rolling behind your opponent, waiting for uh, turning the forward smashes, reading off of a punish or pun attempt punish from a whiffed or blocked option from his opponent. It's interesting to see how uh, Farops is going to adjust to this, especially because uh, as a character with a counter, you know, he's not going to just essentially sit there and take it. He will most likely time himself and space himself to punish according, like we just saw here. Two quick hits, and then uh, Joe Kidney at almost 140. In and then a whole stock gone. Probably really giving him the work with the anime boy known as Joker from Persona 5, hitting him with that RC and goodness. Ooh, and now he's once again trying to build back his meter. He almost has Arsene again. There's two hits on his counter. Even though he has 100 damage, he's ready to go back in using his rage and his assist of his stand slash Persona Arsene. Going in, hitting him with the anime boy goodness. Oh, uh, yeah. So Joe Kidney is trying to find something. Uh, to work out from Farrow doing a great job just keeping Joe Kidney out and about right now baiting out all of these counters that's something you don't want to be throwing out constantly especially when you're up against an opponent that is going to wait a little bit longer just to see what kind of option you throw out um, and they will respond accordingly so right now he has Arsene back again once again and that great back air was uh, uh, it was able to push Joe Kidney so far off this stage almost looked like he was in the blast zone there and this time around, he's gonna chase him off the stage. Didn't even have to. That was a great psych out, I, I suppose. Joe Kimmy gonna lose yet another stock here. Farrah still holding on to all three of them so oh, far in this set. Not anymore, unfortunately, just last one. Now it's 2-1, so, and Joker both at 0%. Let's see if Joseph can make this back, uh, change his deficit into a uh, profit, if you would. Oh yeah. So right now, we have all a lot of dash attacks right now, trying to get some kind of uh, uh, more aggression here, more oppression, of course. Joe Kimmy with the responses. Both <laughs> both players, you got to love to see it. The tournament of counter picks, uh, or counters, everybody. Uh, both players literally just countering right in front of each other. I'm surprised no one's really punished a, a counter with grab in this entire tournament. No one's been like, hmm, how do I stop? Oh, and then we just see, as I mentioned that, I guess commented is curious, joke, the Joker player for is like, oh, where? Come over here, I'm going to give you a grab. Let me just get real close. And a nice old hug. Here comes Arsene again. Make that cameo appearance right now. Joe Kidney counters the gunshots. Don't know if that really paid out, uh, allowing Farrell to uh, essentially create more have and have more stage control. Uh, again with these counters right now. I'm using Saibi to get back on stage while Joe is off. Oh no! Ooh. Is that an SD? No, Joe. Ah, uh, okay. That's, that's fine. This is the first game. You don't gotta beat yourself up about it too much. It's fine. We got, we got this. You can make this back. Uh, for up to the first game of the set. Uh, was that two, a uh, two zero? -oh? On the socks. Uh, it yeah, it looked like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, let's see how uh Joe can adjust. Uh, it's fine. You know, he, he adjusted before. He's pretty. He's pretty well versed in neutral. Uh, he'll roll when needed to. He'll punish with a forward smash when he can. Yeah, he'll be fine. I, 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 I faith in Joe. I mean, Fraps is scary though. That man, that man's scary. That man's scary. It's gonna yeah. be a rough match. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where you just have to, you know, you just have to be able to adapt to your opponent and of course adapt to the situations that you're presented with. And 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 of course, right there, you know, when you have a few slip ups, I mean, hey man, we take those. That's the saying of the FGC. You just gotta you, we take those when you have great bait again. Really nice start, nice start for Farops. Ooh. One with the dash actually trading or trying to dodge each other's moves, even though uh, Sok has a higher percentage to see how we see what happens with the situation. He still has the Minotaur powers. He wasn't he was he was using scarcely in the previous match, but uh, let's see what how he adjusts against this uh, Joker player. Oh, 
I like his act. I, I gotta say, I like his use of side B to get back on stage. After a while, it might be a little too predictable, but I, I really like how he's using it only when Joker is off and under him, so he doesn't have to worry about getting punished when trying to get back on stage using 4B. Oh, no! Oh, not again. The That's air so dodge. unfortunate. So I think uh, part of the problem with Joe Kidme is, uh, is ha as Joe Kidme is having is simply that uh, he's throwing out a lot of options and he's constantly, uh, you know, trying to stay mobile. He's trying to get any kind of moves out there and unfortunately Ferox is putting him in these positions where if he's gonna hit all these buttons he's definitely gonna pay uh huge for it unfortunately being off the stage is something somewhere you don't want to continuously hit a lot of buttons you have to be very uh you know calculative with exactly what you throw out so again Ferox very well aware full stage control right now Joe Kidney throwing out these counters on the uh, ledge approach right now. Now he has the stage control for the time being. Oh, I like that They're very uh, well-timed uh, side rolls to get away from uh, Joker. And I also like how we didn't uh, resort to using his forward beam uh, to get back on stage. He actually uh, descended very lightly and then used counter as a uh, safe option of, oh, Joe was in a trade. It's fine, I got counter. I'll get pushed right back off stage. Ooh. Hit him with the shield. Going for a death tag, uh, blocking everything pretty well. The question now is, he, Joe has a really good idea of when to block, when to roll, but how would he punish after an interaction like that? What's the safe button for that? For for Pharaoh? No, uh, for uh, Joe. Joe Kidney's a uh, show. Yeah, season. I think I think for 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 Joe, he's definitely gonna have to try to like slow down his play. Maybe try to use one of those Monado arts to possibly speed himself up, so that way he can get out of. Uh, certain certain situations a little bit better um, so that way he can kind of think um, a little bit fa uh, faster uh, on the fly right now now he's got the shield up so maybe maybe this will help him out especially with uh, coming down from the air and uh, uh, trying to catch uh, Pharaoh with with these counters just like that so you know good stuff so far oh Guess no Mm. And that forward smash timed him with that counter, unfortunately activating Arsene. Now it's time to play how long before I lose a stock with this character out in the field. It's gonna be really you have to really be patient and really be optimal what choices you make because if you get hit by counter, that's it. You're at death percent at this point. If he gets a good read, he can up smash or side smash or even the tilts or do a high damage or at least high knockback. You have to really be worrisome of fighting this character. Oh, and the time I think we did explain that, Arsene's gone. <laughs> And he's almost back. Oof. Oh no! Oh. So a panic attack. For those who don't know, some characters, oh no. And they go shock. For some characters, if you up in the wrong direction, you will not latch back on and you will lose that stock. Yeah, definitely take take it from me, someone who's been playing these games since the beginning. I'm sure you have as well. Oh, we um uh we we definitely know that struggle in a lot of the older titles, especially like, you know, Melee 64, uh even brawl but let's not even talk about that one uh, we, we are smash ultimate baby so we're here now loads of great characters who would have ever thought we would have seen shulk versus joker from persona in a smash brothers game what a exactly. what a what a timeline we live in you know, this game's roster, as we've seen in the last couple of years and how in the last week or two, how uh, it can be so diverse in this roster to the point where we have Minecraft Steve of all characters in this game. It's just it's fantastic. Hey man, I believe that after, especially after this, anything is possible. I don't want to hear from a single person. However, we're gonna go right into this game number three: Joe Kimmy versus Farops here. Uh, Farops again with the with the the game lead right now, very convincing, two zero. Farops making great adjustments uh, mid game right now. Joe Kimmy, a uh, little bit of a rough start so far, but hey man, you got Shulk, you got a long sword, you got Monado arts, you gotta definitely mix it up with the jutsu here. Let's go. I like I like Ofrop's really interesting use of his uh, neutral tool. Like, hey, I'm going to go for a dash attack from certain distances. I have wall space uh, forward tilts. Like, I'm really liking this Joker play. Ooh, uh-oh. It starts in. Time to see how long it takes before you lose a stock. <laughs> he tries to get the side B there. Yeah, he gets it this time. Okay, Ooh. tries to forward smash and whiz. But gets this counter, so we got counter play, of course. The roll, okay, that roll into that. What was that, forward tilt? That was very long. That was forward smash, yes. Uh, oh, forward Joe smash, has a okay. really good idea of when to punish and how to punish. Unfortunately, though, it's Arsene, so, you know, there goes the stock. Oh, but uses a smash. If he can get back up there and knock him back one more time from that uh, distance, he will absolutely kill. For those who don't know, his Monado powers, I forgot to mention. So, smash, uh, the red form, essentially... 
has his knockback heightened. While Buster increases damage, Smash increases the knockback, which leads to, you know, killing with a Smash move. Yep, absolutely. Definitely would love to see uh, a very highly optimized Shulk. And so far, that was a great forward smash to close out that stock against Pharaoh. So Joe Kidney uh, looking a lot better in this game uh, thus far. There we go. We get a, a back throw. Oh, fine. Right. Grab in this game. <laughs> <laughs> a grab that's not from Donkey Kong, rather. It goes in for the dash attack and a lot of whiffs, but still manages to get a back throw again. Looks like Joe Kidney is a little bit preemptive on that forward air uh, follow up after the uh, back throw, mistiming it. Unfortunately, now here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, try again with the with the counter play here with these counter attacks. We've got the good dash attack right there. Another counter attempt, but whiffed. So many in this in, in this game. In fact, in this whole tournament, it's, it's down be the game. It's Absolutely. down be the game. Yeah, down be the game 100%. Especially uh, being, you know, this is the counter tournament. And, you know, that's the crazy part about Shulk is that Shulk also comes equipped with a counter. But sometimes the counter doesn't even uh, completely Ooh. pull through. But yeah, for that situation, actually, uh, it was because Arsene hit him, but not Joker. So obviously Joker was in the position where it wasn't going to get hit by counter. <gasps> but, uh, ooh, and Arsene doesn't really have an active hurt box, so it wouldn't really bother him much. That would have been, that was a really sticky situation to be in. Looking like he was going for that stage spike a couple moments ago. Uh, backs off, tries to reset the neutral here by creating space. Full stage on the on the on the stage here. Oh, what oh, no, happened? SD. One SD from each player. This game always is not even. If uh, Farab survives, though, he will take the set. Is on uh, set point at this point. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like he must have lost a jump or something. He wasn't able to uh, jump to put himself into a better position to up B. So unfortunately, he just kind of fell to his death. Right now, it is looking super uh, slim for for Joe Kidney right now. He's sitting on 93%, and that is not good going up against a Joker with Arsene uh, on the table here. Okay, Arsene goes away for the, for now. He's no hit optimal times. He's even to the point where he's dodging, dodge rolling, and shielding between hits of his dash attack. He can absolutely, if he can adjust, he can time a jab, he can time a grab in between buttons. It's, just, it's really... It's interesting to see how Joe is getting away with so many things, but not picking the more optimal button option in this matchup. Okay, here we go. Jumps over him. Good dash attack. Try oh, he almost had him with that up tilt. That probably would have at least added uh, add him into... Oh, into the blast zone. Wait oh, a minute. but Joker still lives, and he has our send. This is the worst possible situation for Joe right now. Ooh. Oh my god, he's trying to catch him with these fares right now. Joe Kidney, all he needs is one solid hit, but that goes the same way for Farrell. Farrell could literally close this out right now. The counter doesn't go through once again. Oh my god, Ops to Ops to recover high that time around. Literally anybody's game goes for these guns. Oh, dodges the, the side B. Uh-oh, this is looking like Farrell's game to take from Joe Kimmy. Joe Kimmy was celebrating a little bit too early with that last a uh, few moments there, and Pharaoh able to clutch it out in the end, kept his composure. Super great game, that was what we just saw. Yeah, that really uh, proper use of, I believe that was either forward air or back air with Joker. Phenomenal option. Every time you let Joker, uh, he would let uh, Shulk come back on stage with an option. It's like, he's not going to counter here. I'll just run in and hit him with that sweet, succulent back air. Double kick, <laughs> bam, we're off the stage. Check the stock, check the set. Yeah, what do you say about that one, Larry? Uh-oh, the mute button. <laughs> I think I'd be used to this by now. Uh, we're heading towards that other semifinal, man. Some good action, man. You guys are on it, man. Uh, I think, uh, Uchi, you were calling for a 3-0 sweep, man. You mentioned it not too long ago. We just got it. <laughs> yeah, man. Things are getting uh, – things are turning up. They are. They are turning up. Uh, and we're going to turn this thing over to the commercial break. We'll come back with more of the Polk State College uh, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. We'll hear from our sponsors and come back with the other semifinal. Two more matches to go, and we'll crown a champion after this. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
Sosky. Mr. Wilson with a nerf. Rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks, rap snacks. In uncertain times, you want solutions. Polk State College offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs. Flexible in-person, online, and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in Polk County. At a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. Stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu.
All right, we're back. Five down. Two more matches to go. Polk State College, Super Smash Brothers, Ultimate Championship, multi-campus institution down there in Florida. Main campus, Winter Haven. Also got satellite campuses in Lakeland. That's in between Orlando and Tampa. Uh, Bartow and Lake Wales. Over 20,000 students. Salo, Student Activities and Leadership Office. The good folks there. Melvin Thompson, uh, the director there. The good folks down at Polk State College, Super Smash Brothers, Ultimate Championship. You can see some beautiful shots. Polk State there with the main campus in Winter Haven. All right, let's come inside here. Larry Ridley, SMY TV, little NBC Sports, little Madden NFL, little NBA 2K League. I uh, got the bros with me. Got Sasha and Uchi. Guys, let's take a look at the bracket here. Second semifinal here. So there's only two more games left here as we take a look at who will be playing. It'll be Alejandro and TLM Gaming. Uh, who's going over from the uh, the left side there? Uh, was it Pharaohs? Yep. Pharaohs in the championship. Pharaohs or Pharaohs? Is that why he says name? Pharaohs, right? Either or. Pharaoh, Pharaohs. He's in the championship game. He'll get the winner of Alejandro and TLM Gaming. Second and last semifinal before we get to the championship. Guys, take it away. All right. Thank you, Larry. So we're here. And now Alejandro is TLM Gaming. This one's going to be a hard hitting one, Sasha. Alejandro, as we saw from a few matches ago, bring in that. That DK uh, uh, Donkey Kong. He's going to come in with the congas hitting it. I, I'm sure everyone's going to uh, appreciate that. So I, I'm, I'm excited to see. What about you? I'm really hype. I, I love the matchup between Corn and uh, Donkey Kong. It's going to be hype. This is like, I cannot stress enough. Like, it's just really great space buttons. The option they can just not, they don't ever have to get close to uh, knock your opponent away. The only thing I guess is fearful is uh, DK's ability to get back on stage, as well as worrying about Corrin's projectile game. That's like the key factors you're going to have to worry about in this match. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And okay, Corrin with the counter. So I'm sure we're going to see that at some point. Um, especially, and, and you know what? It's against a character like Donkey Kong. You're going to want to counter against a lot of these hard-hitting uh, maneuvers as we see this dash attack uh, already starting us off with 30 percent rack of 56 excuse me and with the stage presence like this now this this is uh looking uh great for alejandro so far literally barely taking any amount of damage right now already getting the cargo grab toss up in the air i could have definitely killed up that percentage Ooh, look at that bringing bringing it right down from the skies 23 percent to donkey kong but you know what that trade is looking a little bit like game style 121 to 23 oof that's a that's a tough one there sasha you know, it's, it's, it's like like a yeah, game stop right you know i'm gonna trade in my expensive game i'm gonna get back this much like oh what this is in 140 now nah, fam i'm on 44 i don't gotta worry about that i said i'll play the game the way i want to running in with the dodge rolls running in grabbing like donkey kong it might kill at this point oh if it was a fourth it might have killed yeah, tries tries to read the DI there, the directional influence for those that might not exactly understand what we're saying. But right there gets the toss and the right read. Uh TLM Gaming taking the first uh, uh taking the first deficit stock right here. Alejandro up against uh three to two stock right here in this first game. DK bringing the whole DK crew, getting us all hyped with that very nicely timed dash attack, trying to bang on the ground right here, make some noise for us. Uh, watching this and TLA Gaming a little bit too preemptive with the uh, the counter and that is not looking great for so far. Alejandro with the call outs right now had to adjust the freaking camera. The, 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 the options and the excitement is going uh, too crazy right here. Really spaced out buttons this man. This man coming in with the DK Kong power like yo, I this Donkey Kong. It's just it take a whole two whole stocks. Only now is he above a hundred damage ratio. Honestly, if he plays this right, I feel like it's gonna be a three stock. Oh, never mind. Took it right, right, right back. Alejandro losing a stock and London not going down without a fight. All right, so here we go right now. Team game gained a little bit of an offensive here, but gets grabbed again. Alejandro with the toss up. He goes with the up air. Oh, and almost had the, well had the right read, but mistimed the space or missed space. Excuse me. Jumping up, gets the dash attack again. Has the stage presence once again. Alejandro looking really good with that purple Donkey Kong. I feel like I got something to tell you, kids. It might it might be Donkey Kong, but that was looking very Barney like to me. Ooh, hitting them with that well well timed forward smash. But I'll tell you like three games ago, you're gonna worry about Donkey Kong in them hands. So the point where like Alejandro's like his camera just went right down, like yo man, <laughs> you don't need to worry about my face. Watch the hands. That's all you gotta watch. The hands. Yes, yeah, you got you gotta watch the hands, man. Look at them. Nice nice and polished, you know. You just had had to hold them up looking like a pair of sock boppers. Shout out to the nineties kids if you were fortunate enough to be one. All right, like 
like myself and like Sasha, of course. So I miss Akam Babas. I, I was a jam as a kid. I never <laughs> owned one, but like. I I, 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 I want to go to a store and see if they have any. Like, it's, it's that bad. I'm like, yo, they got some soccer bobbins? I'll buy one. Oh, hey man. Well, you know what's more fun than a pillow fight? The fact that my man switched it up to Lucario this time around. No, Getting this... sticking to the theme of the tournament, counters still no. present here. It's, it's, it's this history with this character. This history with this yeah. character. When <laughs> London is uh, facing the opposite end of a losing streak, of I mean, this man is possibly might be knocked out of this tournament. This man goes, you know what? It's time for some Pokemon love right here. Lucario coming right back out. Ooh, let's see how he plays. Let's see how he adapts into this matchup. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, so far, so good with the stage control right here. Alejandro doing a great job just keeping TLM Gaming at bay. Literally uh, keeping them away, making, forcing them to jump and just move around the stage. That's kind of what Lucario needs to do, especially um, uh, with the, with the, the, the move set that he has definitely want to take advantage of the the b reverses in the air nice aerials but again great response by alejandro so far dash attack gonna try to close this one out already racking up lucario's uh percent to 113 right now uh trying to charge up this aura sphere uh, but you know he, he's having a hard time trying to find a spot to even throw it out Sasha. this is not looking good for tlm this gaming man Bully, this man get hit with the up tilt like a 130. You know, it's funny because we would talk about how Lucario really benefits from being behind, whether it's in a percentage deficit or a stock deficit. He gets stronger and he makes it, uh, you know, easier to get kills. But unfortunately, you can't really do that if you have no room to land any buttons because this Donkey Kong is running in and smacking this fool left and right all across oh, the stage. Man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice, another up tilt once again, and great read on the grab. This time just goes for the forward throw off of the cargo. And wow, nicely timed down there. Doesn't get the spike, but ultimately you get the damage and you get the stage control. I, I feel like that's a great payoff. Oh no, and then the whiff grab, that would have definitely killed if he landed it properly. Ooh, but he hit him with the nice up tilt. Let's see what his options are coming down while fighting Donkey Kong. Ooh, Donkey Kong really picking some optimal options using up tilt and uh, up air. So on the descending Lucario. For those who don't know, some of the cast of this game really have a hard time when it comes to uh, landing. Uh, Lucario isn't one of them entirely because he can absolutely benefit from using his down air to slow the momentum of his descent and shift, and as well as using uh, reverse neutral B, where he'll go in one direction and then use the momentum to carry him in the opposite while charging for that move. Yeah, really good stuff to, uh, from TLM Gaming, finally closing out a stock with an Aura Sphere. And you know, I noticed TLM Gaming is, is a set, especially uh, trying to recapture any kind of momentum, of course, while also trying to slow down the momentum of the game right now. That's something you definitely want to do, especially if your opponent is riding on uh, the momentum in their favor. And just like this, as you see, Alejandro has been racking up this percentage against Lucario. Oh, 187, literally a breath. Oh, look at that. Look at that up to looking like a Nene right here. She's got <laughs> answers. Okay. Whips and nannies across taking stocks. As you said, literally a, a breath away from losing that stock. And there was one swing. Bam. Now we're down to 2 1. Let's see how uh, Alejandro adapts. Oh, not adapts, rather. Let's see if he can keep some momentum going and punishing Lucario. And let's see if TLM Gaming can try to adapt and make this comeback. Oh, okay. I like that. Dash dancing. And then again, hit him with the up tilt. Up throw. No up air. Just waits for him to kind of fall uh, farther down to the ground. And TLM Gaming again trying to just find their footing right now. Nice side B, poking them. Okay, good rate, Aura Sphere, really good stuff. You know, fully locked and loaded with that up smash, but doesn't even hit. Alejandro is on this guy right now. But TLM Gaming gets a phenomenal job using back air, getting him from wherever he can with these long reaching buttons, getting that damage up. And then with all, with all that uh, rage he has, he'll do a really good job of dishing out the damage if he can perfectly time them and land them. He's gonna be really aware of his aerial movement, where Donkey Kong is and what he can do in certain situations. And these stocks are looking pretty even, but that's not looking good for TLM Gaming. Alejandro with the horizontal collapse. And just like that, taking it to zip so far in this set, man. I don't know. It's not looking good for TLM Gaming, but you know what? The, the, the switch was just made. Let's see if he can make the adjustments in the third game to bring us back, possibly for some more matches to come in this uh, set right now. But, man, Donkey Kong looking pretty dominant right now. He has the whole DK crew that he's trying to bring it home for. So let's see what happens, Sasha. Let's see. Uh, maybe you all see how might stick with Lucario. Oh, or not. Maybe switching off. So, so far, I've seen he's played Lucario and Corrin in other tournaments. But I'm not sure who he might pick here. Corrin 
wasn't a terrible pick, but it really wasn't working out for him. Lucario was a better pick, but unfortunately still lost his stock. Oh, he went back to Corrin. Interesting. Okay. Let's see how he adjusts. Maybe he can apply what he's used with Lucario on to Corrin while fighting Donkey Kong. Yeah, definitely. You know, again, the Corrin does have some uh, great uh, great maneuvers, has a projectile, obviously, similar to Lucario's, uh, has really good usage of the B-reverse, and has, I would say, a better, more reliable counter in this situation. Great aerials to work with, of course, taking advantage of Donkey Kong's big boy body right here. Um, and look at, oh, tries going for the for the grab attempt, but manages to get the horizontal clap to get uh, Corrin off the stage and Sasha already can you look at this percentage right now I was about to say something about this this man has been like maybe 15 20 seconds he's already at 102 122 damage ratio <laughs> this man hitting like a whole truck 18 wheeler going 75 on the 95 oh man uh -huh. And there he goes using that up tilt one whole stock let's see if Taylor and Gaming can try to survive and maybe take that stock back Ooh, yeah, very nice snare you can only help right now, but so far, um, a TLM Gaming only able to, well, right now, actually, fully committed to that up smash. Really good stuff so far. Um, trying to catch him. Great counter. Uh, cool. Now oh, returning no. the favor. You don't worry about that. TLM Gaming has a knack for using up B with Corrin in really weird situations. You don't want to use that as a kill move from above, especially when the character all has to do is wait. For Fire Emblem characters, it's really hard for you to land, and Donkey Kong is the optimal. You're falling. <laughs> nice. Let me hit you with a button, especially with that up tilt, that up smash, timing the forward smash like that. Like it's, it's rough. You gotta be really careful in your choice of attacks. But hey, he takes the stock back. It's two two in terms of this round. Let's see what he can follow up with on this new stock. Okay, so so far gets the cargo throw and tosses right off the stage. Not dead yet. Gets the ledge. All right, TLM Gaming safely sound right here. Let's go. Oh. Hits him with that nice uh, forward smash. Uh, it doesn't kill because not in a sweet spot, but he's doing a really good job of keeping him away, not having to worry about getting close. And if he can time it well, hitting him with the tipper point, he might get a kill a certain percent, especially with all that rage he's carrying. All right, so great stuff right now. Uh, okay, great nair in into back air. Really nice. And oh, wow, look at the spacing. Mm. He had that read locked and loaded, but Alejandro just unleashing that uh that approach right there and closing out the stock uh right now uh, tlm gaming is looking like he's down to his last and final stock um and alejandro with the with a, a great lead if i do say so myself so just a few more hits donkey kong hits super hard this could definitely be alejandro's game to take let's go let's see how this picks up let's go london i believe in you can i make it at least a, a three one or a two a three two bring the game back Get him with a nice uh, back air. For those who don't know, back air is a really good option for Corrin. For she can uh, pull herself forward with her momentum. At the same time, knocking all the way back with a well, a well placed uh, back air. That move has really good knockback in situations. And if you are towards the edge, like right there, would have been really good for her to hit uh, Donkey Kong with that move. Because it was them flying at least towards the blast zone, if not hitting the blast zone. Oh, oh no! When I'm smashing, grab. That might be it. State spike dead. Mm. Yeah, and, and that's a super unfortunate for TLM Gaming, man. Sometimes you just cannot be too committed to throwing out options like charging an, uh, a smash attack as as they did. But, you know, you got to give it to Alejandro. Super able to capitalize off any any situation presented to them and just riding along with. So the DK crew lives on, and we will see them in the grand finals of this tournament. So we're going to, I guess, bring it right over to Larry and see what he thought about this matchup. Man, it was, uh, you know, you think about it, great, great fighting there by Alejandro. I see, um, and tough London man, a little frustrated there. He should be. Uh, he's got it, you know, got to work, you know, continue to fight. Uh, I did like that he did show some fight. We talk about that all the time in the Madden and uh, 2K community. So, uh, but shout out to Alejandro. It's all about him. He's the one that won the match, and he's moving on to the championship. And uh, we're going to have that championship for you coming up right here uh, for this Polk State College uh super smash brothers ultimate championship we'll come back with more larry ridley here i uh, got sasha i uh, got uchi wally wally uchi bang bang we'll come back with more with the final after this quick timeout from our sponsors in uncertain times you want solutions polk state college offers more than 60 degrees in workforce certification programs flexible in-person online and hybrid courses allow you to attend no matter where you live in polk county at a fraction of the cost of a state university or private institution, Polk State College provides a quality, affordable, higher education solution for changing times. 
stay on track to your education and career goals at Polk State. Visit polk.edu. All right, we're about to wrap up the weekend here on a Saturday, October the 3rd here for the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. It is championship time, a championship Saturday, if you will, uh, a sensational Saturday here across the United States. Uh, great weather uh, throughout the region here. Polk State College, great facility, great campus down there, 20,000 students, main campus of their multi-campus institution in Winter Haven, got satellite campuses in Lakeland, Bartow, and Lake Wales. Uh, 20,000 students, CELO, uh, Student Activities and Leadership Office. Melvin Thompson, the director down there, doing an excellent job. You see those cranes down there, lived in Miami and Orlando. <laughs> those birds always show up in your yard, man. And they're a little stubborn at times, too. They don't want to leave. Uh, as we get set for the Polk State College Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship. All right, let's come inside here, Larry Ridley, SNY TV, little uh, NBC Sports, the Mad NFL, little uh, NBA 2K League. Got the two bros with me, Black Atlas, Sasha, and we got Uche. Guys, let's take a look at this bracket. We have a final, guys. There it is. Ferops, one, two, three, and Alejandro 
192. Ferrops against Alejandro, six down and one big championship to go, guys. Take it away. All right, thanks, Larry. So this match right here, uh, we should have saw it coming, especially seeing how these two were playing this entire tournament, man. Uh, these these dudes were literally the two of the best. The creme de la creme. We were finally here at the grand finals, and uh, they've been showing in their gameplay, Sasha. They like the adaptability is there. The way that they, you know, just the, the stage control and all that. It's been it's been a good show so far. So this is, I guess, how you end it on the right way. So who's gonna take it? We're we gonna see the DK crew come through, or are we going to see this Joker come out of the woodwork and take the whole crew down? No crews, but we only have personas. Let's go. I, honestly, it's rough. I want to say, I really want to say it's Joker. Only because, you know, it's one of the best characters in the game. Perhaps is doing a really phenomenal job with this neutral. But then you just see Alejandro coming in like... Literally just like, eh, take off these hands and throw them at you. Just throwing hands left and right. I don't care about neutral. I grab. It's... it's it's so really fantastic to see uh, an arguably towards the bottom of high tier character like Donkey Kong do phenomenal job across the bracket. It's been a long time. Like you only, aside from like maybe DK Will and a handful of other players, you don't really see a lot of Donkey Kongs in top eight. And this is just phenomenal to see. Oh yeah, definitely a treat nonetheless. Joker versus Donkey Kong up next. Who's gonna take this one? Who's gonna be our crowned championship here at the Polk State Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Championship? So it, it could go either which way. So let's see, I'm ready to go. Yep, same here, you guys ready to start? Uh, <laughs> while they start, um, oh, there it is. Like the streamer's like, okay, let's give it a second. <laughs> Let's use that uh, that non rollback net code. Let's wait a second. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Shout out to, to shout out to Daddy Sakurai. Always making sure with every video reveal that he's got to definitely shout out that adapter. So here we go. Right now, we're gonna start things off on the Omega Battlefield version right here. We got this purple hook, Barney Donkey Kong. All right, shout out to our big furry friend right now. And Joker having a hard time, man. He's messing up that nice tux that he's got on right here, Sasha. The student uniform fam we gotta know what he's going through he's, what school he's going to so when donkey kong has done throwing this man across the stage like okay hey, no, this, i found this kid what was it uh what do you call that those offices that find kids cut in school the um the words losing me here but like one of those security officers like yo this kid's not in class here you go he was oh just, yeah it's like the, the, the uh monitor hall person or whatever hall, hall monitor there you hall go yeah, cool stuff <laughs> <laughs> all right so we so got, Ooh, look at this. I'm, I'm real talk. We've been kind of cracking jokes, but like in the span of those 20 to 30 seconds, Joker's already at kill percent, like way above kill percent. Yeah, man. Alejandro, uh, really quick to start things off, getting the first two hits, and that's exactly what a Donkey Kong player wants and needs. Taking the first stock as as we're speaking um, about this entire set right now. Um, oh, you see that up B he used? That really picked up, yeah. You really pick up Donkey Kong. I'm like, yo, I'm just going to pull you right back. He did with a nice beautiful combo i wonder if oh, oh my god what were you saying this guy just kind of shut everything down and up with that spike going directly to the blast so my man's camera freaking fell uh, <laughs> like, as 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 this move is happening man it was crazy Pharaoh like, i'm being combo this fine i'll just fix my camera back real quick <laughs> yo alejandro with the sweet tech i appreciate it Oh yeah, Pharaoh uh, doing a great job though, keeping his composure entirely, you know, not letting anything phase him right now. Obviously, you can reference the camera we have. Uh, shout out to Kick Punch Block with the uh, production right now. Uh, oh man, but that cargo throw is gonna be it. What a clean sweep to start this first game, man. What is this? Alejandro, you scared. I told you, I was like, I want, I want to say it's Joker. I really want to say it's Joker, but you, you cannot count out Alejandro and his DK. It's rough. Yeah, it's rough. You don't care. It's like, oh, you wanna, you you got arson. That's nice. Taste the stage real quick. Like, yo, it's just, he's so he's so good. Yeah, man. Honestly, I mean, if, if if you look at the tail of the tape, I mean, look, we cannot we cannot hate on Persona. We can't hate on Joe. We can't disrespect arson. But look, when you got a dude that's bigger, faster, and he's stronger too, he's the first member of the DK crew. My man, Donkey Kong is here. Look at look at look at the stage that we're on. This is home field advantage as far as I'm concerned. It's cheating. <laughs> Straight up cheating. Right. Can we just talk about his use of his dash attack? It's like phenomenal. So yeah, so well placed. He almost never does it on block. See, like, see, like, and you always get some option out of it. 
Oh yeah, he is he is really right on his momentum right now. Uh, perhaps uh, trying to to get something going in his in his uh, turn right now. Great throw off the stage, had to jump off the ledge to just get that little bit of damage. The great recovery, Alejandro is not looking phased right now. Perhaps is trying to get something going here with Arsen. Ooh, nice. I will say though, I really like how he was expecting Arsene to counter, and instead of just falling for the trap and using a dash attack or a smash or a tilt, he runs up and grabs. And it's like, that's something that Alejandro's been one of the only few people in this entire tournament who's been really punishing a counters with. He doesn't even have a counter. This man's, see, this man entered a tournament full of counter players and was like, nah, I don't need a counter. I got grabs. See oh, yeah, these hands? Just like that, just that, that toss, that back throw, charging up that neutral B right now as soon as he throws that one out and if it connects you can consider Joker dead the jokes on him at that point wouldn't that very well timed fair coming down yo Sean Chun really giving the work oh yeah this is looking pretty one sided so far here Farrow is trying to find some kind of footing right now tries to go for the counter and gets baited into a grab almost got spiked from high off the ledge right here and that is super unfortunate you can tell that Ferox has fallen through the cracks in this set. Alejandro is riding off his momentum, doing a great job approaching with Nair, following up with the tilt. And that, you know, like you were saying before, the dash attack is actually one of Donkey Kong's best moves because he can act out of it very fast. As soon as the move is done, he can literally just go into whatever option he wants to at that point in the game. So here we go again. And look, as, as, I'm, as I'm talking about it, look, he dash attack right into shield to keep himself safe, man. This is, this is a crazy set. And then every single time, oh, finally getting hit with the counter on the dash tag. It's like every single time he uses minus that one last counter hit, he's been really optimal use, whether it's getting close and then shielding or just punishing in a proper action, not worrying about counter. Even now, you see uh, Arsene and Joker use counter a couple of times. This is only two out of what? The six times he's used counter so far in this entire match. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen uh, uh, too many uh, successful counters for sure. Definitely the attempts. Um, but Alejandro looks like he's ready for it. Alejandro right now with 157 on his Donkey Kong, holding on to every single stock right now. Uh, Farab's going to need a miracle right here to just close this one out, it seems like, because Alejandro's just holding on to every bit. But then he survives the throw and picks up Arsen, gets back on stage using the ledge. Oh, oh the Donkey Kong went too low. Yeah. A perfect example of what I mentioned earlier about Donkey Kong not having the great aerial momentum or aerial options because if you get too low, you're definitely losing that stock. You're not coming back from that. Oh yeah, trying to trying to space out the back here. Really good, really good spacing, really good awareness right now. Pharaoh again against the RSN, but uh, too preemptive with that dash attack, and Alejandro was ready for it. Tries to meet him with that uh, up air. Ooh, that was looking yeah, that was looking kind of steep and slim. Oh, but hit him with the. For those who also don't know, if you're on the ground and you get hit with a move that spikes like that, uh, it's hard for you to attack. I think it's uh, untackable, to be honest, and it will see you flying, especially when you have high percentage like that. Once again, Alejandro flexing with his main Donkey Kong, hitting you with that clean 2-0 on the set so far. One more game in the set, and Alejandro would take it, unless Ferrups can muster up the, the setups, the neutral, and the optimal plays to make this turn this around and possibly have a reverse 3-0. All right, let's see, man. This could potentially be the tournament game right here. Alejandro in the driver's seat could very well take it home, be our uh, Polk State Super Smash Brothers ultimate champion. Going right back to uh, this Mario Odyssey Omega version. I got like this. You know, the, the game has some really optional, optimal uh, stages to pick, and then, like everything can be like Omega or Battlefield. This is nice. This is very nice. It's not just the samey background and the music choices. Phenomenal. Absolutely, yeah. definitely. Super Smash Bros. is one of the best games in the world today. Definitely, no argument with that. Loads of content, loads of characters, and uh, definitely a lot of things to appreciate. Um, a lot of the nuances are, are definitely something to love and show. And just like that, what do you love? You you love your stage spikes. My man had the cargo ready. My man had that Amazon Prime shipment, that delivery with the first stock here to start things off. Okay, we get here in 48 hours, two days. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're used to here on the East Coast right now. Getting <clears> them <throat> with a nice neutral B. Uh, getting his uh, meter going for Arsene. 
Ooh, very optimal gun choices. I love how he has multiple different uses for his projectiles. It's not just stick to one. He can go above, he can stay in the ground, set up for a well-placed uh, spacing tool when it comes to some of his projectiles. It's very nice. This character is a prime example of things done right for uh, a Smash character. Oh yeah, look at that dash attack. Try to go for another one. Wow, he's he's just rolling, looking like Sonic the Friggin' Hedgehog right now with all these rolls uh, attacked right now. Uh, try to catch him with that two frame down tilt up against the ledge. That literally would have been so unfortunate. Gets the nice toss up and tries to set him up for the forward air, but doesn't connect. Uh, instead, gets another dash attack into a back air follow up. Yo, Alejandro is all over Farrow right now. Oh, and unfortunately didn't get the commit uh, for reverse uh, dash into a grab. He went too far, didn't get to cancel that with another dash into grab. And but hey, you know, he's still taking back neutral. He still has the stock up. Just because his high potential does not mean he can't turn this into a profit. Another profit, rather. Ooh, hit him with a dash attack. Let's see what his options are. How will he let him get back on stage in the ledge? Or will he punish with an option? Oh, at this point, you know, if he was fast enough, he could have hit him with a down air. Again, when people try to like drop off on ledge and get back on, they're not safe anymore. And so at this point, if he reads it properly, he can absolutely punish you with a spiking move on the ledge. Ooh, okay, good parry. Donkey Kong again, man. A reminder, Alejandro sitting on three stocks, but may not have uh, one for too long right now. Unfortunately, Faro is at the last, at his last stock so far. So, I mean... I don't know, it's looking very slim for a comeback, but you know, anything is happening, anything is possible uh, with, the, with the Smash Brothers franchise. So here we go, that's the start. Yep, let's see if uh, perhaps can take this momentum and carry it over. It's not looking really great though. Oh, very well timed counter. If he hadn't done that, that would have been actually, that would have actually been a spike and that would have been a set. But thankfully he had uh, Arsene to back him up. Oh, but he kept relying on counter and now it might put him in a deficit. He doesn't have Arsene anymore. Let's see what his options are for getting back on stage. All right, nice dash attack again. We're using safe. Uh, and Farrow trying to play safe. And that looks like it's it. Congratulations to Alejandro taking it very convincingly over Farrow. 3 0 here at the Polk State Super Smash Brothers Championship. Sasha, what do you say about that? That was great. Well, first of all, congrats. That was amazing. You know, Alejandro really showing he could invoke his inner Anga Bunga Gorilla and just go to town with Donkey Kong. And for everyone who's playing, you know, you guys are fantastic. It's been a really fun time, even, you know, with everyone playing, almost everyone playing counter characters. It's been a really interesting tournament to see how everyone's been playing, how everyone's been doing. All it's weird too because we almost never had a 3 2. We maybe had one game that went to game five. Every single game has been like 3 1 or 3 or clean 3 0. Or even yeah. there's three stocks left and right. It's just, it's been phenomenal. You guys have been pretty amazing. Good games. Yeah, great games to both of you guys. And great great games to everybody. And great to all of the competitors here that came and made it this far. So uh, congrats to everyone. And there's our champion right there. Look Oops. at that. That, that <laughs> the camera was just, it was, it couldn't handle uh, our winner here. So shout outs to Alejandro. Um, yeah, man, really good stuff. That Donkey Kong, he, he represented the DK crew loud and proud. Absolutely. Actually, if you can, yeah, um, Mike, we're going to ask you a couple of questions. So how do you feel uh, taking this tournament? How, how, how do you feel right now? Unmute your mic, buddy. I think his mic is unmuted. Unmute oh, your mic, Alejandro. A little rough to hear you, unfortunately, but uh, I'm going to assume. Give him a hype. second. Uh, un unmute your mic. Oh, no. Plug in the headset, I think. Give him a second. You no, know, it is all the tech went to the character. You guys can hear me now, right? Yes. Perfect. Sir. Yes. So, how do you feel right now, Alejandro? You know, taking first place, being phenomenal, bopping all of the uh, counter characters with someone who just relies on his grabs and his optimal punishes. Mm, I don't know, man. I just feel so like shaky from like winning. <laughs> <laughs> like that's all that's going through my head right now. You got that adrenaline, the adrenaline man. Yeah. Adrenaline going. You really yeah, I got the. <laughs> really good to see a uh, kind of Donkey Kong play like that, especially in a top eight tournament. Thanks. So, uh, well, seeing you got first place, you're gonna get that nice two hundo. What do you plan to do? Um, I'm gonna buy like one Christmas present and then the rest on partying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also like, oh, that's not so sweet. Partying. I feel that <laughs> in these times, you know, in these trying times, you got to really keep your spirits up. And I honestly, I feel like safely partying is the best way to go. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely by myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
whatever keeps the party going, you know, I appreciate hey, you. Hey, we, we are in a pandemic, man. So socially uh, yeah, distancing like party. Yeah, I like that. Of safety, socially distance party. party. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, Alejandro, what, what made you choose Polk State, man, and the uh, fine institution down there? And which campus do you go to, Winter Haven or Lakeland? I went to the Winter Haven, and I chose Polk State because originally I was dual enrolled for it. And then I left for some time to take a break from school, and then I just came back, and now I'm finishing it up. Good stuff, so. man. Uh, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to reach out to Melvin Thompson. He's the director at Salo. Tell him that you enjoyed this and you want more tournaments. I know we do Madden for those guys. We're going to continue doing Smash and Madden and 2K. I think we're going to have another event later this month. So make sure you reach out to Melvin, man, and tell him thank you. And say, hey, keep these tournaments going. We like doing it with the guys with Compete Forever, okay? Okay. Sounds good. All right, man. Congratulations. Thanks. You're a champ, man. And uh, we'll see you Thanks. down the road, man. And uh, enjoy your earnings. Uh, keep your camera on. And guess we come here back uh, to the three box here. Good stuff there. Alejandro, uh, the champion there, man. Uh, look, a deserving champion, right? He was the best player throughout. Did anyone take a game from him? I don't think they did, did they? Um, I think he lost a game to what was it? It wasn't it wasn't TLM. I think he lost only one game to someone. I'm not oh no. No, yeah, he, he I think he lost one game to, So he was nine and one or something like that. Yeah, nine and he, oh nine I and think, one, something like that. Yeah. He lost convincing. Yeah. Well, if if not one game to Mike, he hasn't lost an entire game this whole tournament. <laughs> oh, holy cow. All right, good stuff, guys, as we uh, get out here. Any final thoughts from you guys? Great job by you two, uh, dynamic duo, uh, on you. the call here for the Smash Tournament. You know, we try. It's really a fun time to get out there to be able to uh, put our skills or our growing skills to the test to provide some entertainment for y'all at home. You know, Uchi and I, we've been doing this for, God, how long has it been? I feel like it's been more than five years. It's been Definitely. a fun time so far. Uh, I mean, on my end. Uchi, how about you? Oh, man, you know, I've been doing this doing this thing for – better better part of six years going internationally definitely so i'm at the, i'm at that level so we out here we're doing it for uh for the people at home definitely trying to keep your spirits up and hopefully you guys enjoy uh you know the smash brothers that you saw today but you know we're we're out here we're doing it so yeah he said we out we out here as the kids like to say all right good stuff guys congratulations once again to all of the competitors today it was almost uh, 30 of them that signed up Got down, had the qualifiers last night, down to a final eight today. Uh, so congratulations to all of them, and a, a big congratulations uh, to Alejandro, who clearly was the best player today, uh, heads and shoulders uh, above everyone today. He gets the 200 bucks. Uh, but uh, Synopsis, or what is, what's his name? Uh, France. What's his name? Fran? Arups. Uh, yeah. France. It's, I, I can't say his name. Arups. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, like Pharaoh. 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 I'm just going to call him Pharaoh. That's exactly it. Uh, Pharaoh gets uh, the second place. He gets 100 bucks, and then a uh, TLM and uh, the other guy got 50 bucks there. So uh, <laughs> I believe it was Joe. <laughs> Joe, it was. Yeah, Joe kidding me, right? You kidding me, right? He kidding uh, me. The other guy. So good stuff, guys. For uh, black uh, Sasha or black chocolate. What, what, what are we going to <laughs> mixing both of my old tags? It's my, <laughs> my black Atlas is my current tag is, uh, competing, but uh, my old tag was chocolate rain for a bit. I'm just going to call you Sasha. That's your government name. You know what I'm saying? I respect it. I put on my government name. I put on my whole deets. You know what I'm saying? Mama call him Sasha. I'm going to call him Sasha. Mm -hmm. uh, Uchi, what is your government name? Uh, it's Ryan. Ryan. I see why you go by Uchi. Ryan's boring. <laughs> boring. <laughs> I mean, I, who, I can't really talk. My name is Larry. So that's boring. Too. <laughs> we got two boring names. Sasha sounds like, okay, he's got some swag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the international Russian swag, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Like Barra Cohen, exactly. Uh, for <laughs> Sasha, Black Atlas, Uchi Gang, aka Rod, I'm L. Ridd, aka Larry Ridley, uh, on the government name. Thanks for watching this uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate uh, Championship here from Polk State College. We'll see you later on down the road. Shout out to everyone watching. Uh, Compete Forever, also Kick Punch Block. We'll see you down the road for more Compete Forever esports events. Have a great weekend, everyone. Have a good one, guys.